we live? Uh, we live? Seems good. Let's continue with space exploration. Veldak, Philip B, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And here we are, slowly churning away at the 2 million cost factory spaceship 13. I don't know if we're actually in motion at the moment. No, we're still missing uh, singularity tech cards, which are dependent on uh, Deep Space 3, which we had to play catch up a bit with because there was a train uh, that was supposed to deliver super cooled thermofluid, uh, and there was a traffic jam over here that was. Everyone stopped for like 600 years because one train didn't have fuel. Even though it wasn't physically in the way of any other train. Is this the train? It is. Oh, it just finished. Yeah, it just, just, just finished what it was doing. Taking all the concrete back to the mall because we realized uh, we're not using the concrete, the refined concrete, anywhere but the mall. So we're not going to put it into the new system of uh, high volume bringing stuff up through the space elevator. Seems good. T Hacks, do you see reply from bot to give Discord link? Uh, no, no, I do not. I'm afraid I do not. All right, uh, Glacier Wolf, welcome in. So what should we... But has been broken for the last three or four streams. Uh, let me guess, I have to go to Streamlabs and push the button that switches it back on that I definitely didn't switch off. Cloudbot. There it is. Don't know why. Cloudbot should be switched on. Okay. Uh, what should we do today? Amazing, indeed. Yeah, it just likes to switch itself off every once in a while. I don't know... I don't know what the trigger is. I don't know why it does it, or when it does it exactly. How often it, it does it. it it's... It's cool. Uh, I definitely need more things that I need to double check before each stream. Not less. Anyway, uh, why don't we figure out what needs fixing? I'm sure there's something. We've only got six types of Arcosphere, give or take, visible at any one time. Even though we just went and got more Arcospheres. And we still only have, like, one machine doing each Arcosphere recipe over here. That's a little bit annoying. You'd think we'd have reached saturation by now. Maybe we have? I, I don't know, honestly. Um... There's still quite a few resources to patch over to the new system. I feel like procrastinating that a little bit, though. What else can we work on today? Or for now? Look at how many fewer trains we've got with vanilla schedules. Bringing stuff up the space elevator. That's a big improvement. Huge. I guess it would have been far fewer trains if we had uh, if we had the mod that sends LTN trains through the space elevator as well. I wonder if you can put in some rules like, you know, you generally want to minimize having to put things through the space elevator. Maybe it would just do that automatically. Or maybe you could like, for, you could definitely use like encoded network IDs to forbid certain things getting transported through the elevator. But, yeah, who knows. Should probably go put a beacon over here. Uh, and I 
I believe it is. Four by four. Is that actually the same outline as this? Yeah, it is. It doesn't look like it should be. What? Oh, okay. I'll I'll take it. Didn't realize we were in range of the mall, the building. But that definitely makes it a bit easier. So how many? Ooh. 39 speed th uh, speed nines, 13 prod nines, and 18 efficiency nines have been created. Uh, it looks like we pick them up when any one thing is over 50. So I'm pretty sure we haven't had any deliveries back here yet. I think we already had these left over from before. Uh, but yeah, our trickle of high tier modules is coming through. We're actually short on nanomaterial. That's our bottleneck. Uh, why is there no particle stream? That's really concerning. Particle stream goes into antimatter. That's really, really concerning. Uh, what's missing? Plasma stream? Why is there no plasma stream? Why is there no lithium... Um, did we not finish patching through the system to put lithium upstairs? Lithium. Lithium. Here we go. Did we not request it? We did. Uh, 15,000 with stack size 50 is three train loads. Why is that... Do we just not have a train doing this schedule? That would be embarrassing. Uh, let's see. You are removing all the old stuff. Yeah, I think... Uh, I think we never actually made the schedule. Let's check downstairs. Train stops with this sh trains with this schedule. You're joking. We do have it, but the but the other trains crowded it and it can't get in now. This is so dumb. What the f la la la. So presumably, if this was not on the edge of the rail network, that just wouldn't have happened. Bruh. That is so dumb. That could have eventually crashed all our spaceships. Not like crashed into the ground, but they would have been out of antimatter. Luckily, we've got copious, and I do mean copious, storages. Uh, downstairs. But still. So now these guys are all going to have to wait their turn while that train runs laps. I don't think we need more than one train doing this, but uh, maybe... Maybe we'll make a second one. At least for the moment. If antimatter is ultimately dependent on lithium, I really don't want it to be that slow. It's probably... It's probably already fast enough. How much lithium goes into, like, plasma stream? Two lithium makes a hundred, so one to fifty. And then plasma stream. Uh, we get double the particle stream out of it. So one lithium makes 100 particle stream. And then it's one to one for antimatter. Uh, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, so one lithium makes 100 antimatter. Hey, how it is going? Marcel, how's it going? Not too bad, thanks. Thanks for dropping by, and thank you very much for the four months. Very much appreciated. Thank you. 
welcome in. Dearest Tea uh, Hacks and Shadows, I hope this letter finds you well. Please stay cool in the months to come. Well, I'll try. I'm honestly worried about this summer. Now we can go back to game. Dreaded spheres, indeed, indeed. Okay, um... Is this going to cause another traffic jam? I imagine it is, yeah. So what, I make, like, another rail block around it just so that... Just so that we have enough, like, train stacking? It feels very silly. I mean, it is very silly. Maybe I could just set this to have, like, a LTN train limit of, like, one or two. That, honestly, would probably be enough. Yeah, we don't need... Stop. We don't need to expand this. I don't want to make the base bigger than it needs to be. Uh, train limit? Limit trains two. Right? Actually, I... I guess if there's two trains waiting here, then it could be enough to block our train. I'm gonna limit it to one. Silly. But I'm pretty sure we don't need extreme throughput of trains with this lot. What is it? Lithium, lithium chloride, silicon, and quartz. I will keep a second uh, vanilla scheduled train to take this stuff upstairs, though. That seems like a good idea. Wait, there's two of them? Wait, do we not have a train limit on this? We do. So where's the other one? No, it's... I think it just went up the space elevator. Okay. And what's our next little disaster? That's right, I wanted to put some modules in here. May as well just chuck in some... some speed modules. Speed sixes are cheap at this point. With any luck, uh, speed nines will be somewhat cheap in the not too distant future. Nine point seven per oh per minute. Okay, I was gonna say that seemed a bit fast. What's the ratio like? We're bottlenecking here and here, but that's fine. It should still be way faster than we can materially keep up with, especially if we crash nano material by not having lithium. Now it makes me wonder though, how fast is our nano material? compared to our needs. 21 per second? I'm pretty sure for, for nano material, that's a lot. Um, how fast does this eat nano material? Holy! 135 per second. Look, I, know, I know we're never going to be uh, crafting speed 8.6 churning out speed 9s at maximum speed, but... Good grief. We might even have to think about some kind of limit on these. I don't know. How should I go about that? Uh, good question. I don't want to do another, like, 
read what we've got here, transmit it downstairs, and downstairs we have a filter inserter deciding what to put in the train. That's a lot of prods already. Um, I don't want to do that all over again, uh, all over again, just for the output that goes back to the mall. But I can't really th think of anything else right now. How are we doing for the low tier modules? Is this fast enough for our science? I think we already set it up to super prioritize the rail network, right? 2.4 per second. Um, and these turn 1.39 per second into 4.1 per second. So yeah, that's way faster than we need. I was cooking yesterday, baked six big potatoes. Then I cut them in half and scooped the insides. Mystery is, how did I end up with only 11 halves? Uh, you ate one. Or your dog ate one. Easy. Easiest puzzle of my life. Let's remove all this. Speaking of puzzles... Still enjoying the System Shock remake. Second playthrough, cranked up the puzzle difficulty. Uh, the combat difficulty. And I actually dropped the cyber... The cyber difficulty, not because it's hard, but because it's not a challenge anyway. And it's just kind of a waste of time. And I'm certainly not going to put it, uh, put cyber difficulty on if you die in the game, you die in real life. Or story, I'm not going to put a time limit on. I don't see the point, I, I love the granular difficulty settings, but I don't see the point of the, the highest difficulty for the story setting being there's a time limit for the entire game. Which is hours, like eight hours long or something like that. Which is just going to be trivial to speedrunners, and a pain in the butt to anyone else. It just got lost somewhere in the kitchen. Maybe I accidentally threw one half skin away and didn't notice. Uh, maybe it was stolen by a giant cockroach. A long-lived one that's gained intelligence. All right. Uh, I, I think I'm. Yeah, we were about it, when the power went out yesterday. We were about to play around with some more, uh, uh, some more speedy spaceships. Uh, Full guard. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, and I've decided I've had enough of like not ever putting multiple layers of engines. Um. We can still make it look relatively good, I think. But... I don't know if I want the engines going up this way, though. I was thinking of, like, double-layered wings. But we could do, like, an X. That would be weird. <laughs> that would be weird. Evil Pla, welcome in. The kitchen ones are called cockroaches. Actually, I saw you earlier. Yes. The kitchen ones are called cockroaches. <laughs> Turtle, welcome in. I'm sorry, Veldike, it was me. I stole the potato. Oh, no. Potato thieves. Um, that's not right. I wish we didn't have to put the ship into space to see the percentage of, like output that we're going to get oops, uh, from the engines. Like, I, I, I wish the... Uh, if we do something like this, for example, ignore the fact that we don't have walls here. 
Uh, I, I wish the integrity check would tell us, like, what percentage we're going to get out of the engines. Each engine. But, yeah, I'm thinking maybe... Maybe more of, like, a V shape. Or, no. I, I want to do... I want to do a double uh, layer of engines, but I also want it to fit well with this power plant. I mean, this is so cozy, but it just doesn't line up so well with what I have in mind. Where was that ship that we made earlier? I think we deleted it. I think we might still have a blueprint for it. The Star Trek lapel or whatever it's called. A little bit like that. But with like another... Kind of like this, but with some wings up the front. But obviously this, this power plant wasn't good enough. Hmm... Could put this engine way down here. That's actually maybe not a bad idea. Except we can't really put another one there because we can't get the fuel in. Mm. What if... Let me just switch those off for now. That that's not doing what I thought it would do. Uh I guess you have to be the player to press rotate on these to make them switch off. We have some engines shaped like this. Oops. Put those somewhere kind of like that. This is going to end up looking weird. What if I flip it around? Mm, I don't like how we're not going to be able to use that space. And that doesn't work. Could go for something kind of like that. No, I want to do the... Oh, that's weird. Rotation... Rotation be strange. I want to be able to do some, like, layered engines here, but not too close together. I know the further you put them apart, if you obstruct the output, uh, the more engine efficiency you still get. Maybe I should just stop trying to... conserve so much space horizontally. Uh, and just kind of... Do them like this. There's no in-between, really. We put this up somewhere like... 
three engines ahead. Tiny Goliath, welcome in. Could you do two rows with a small gap to maximize the amount of engines? Yeah, that's the idea. Uh, I'm afraid that what I've got in mind, I'm going to end up having to redo the power plant. Or at least parts of it. To make the most of the space. And that's unfortunate because I really like this power plant. Okay, let's... Uh, okay, let's get rid of all of our baggage. And suppose we start from just two of these at the back. Gonna need a, a lot more floor. We already built power plants around this sort of shape. Except we needed way, 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 way more power for the Nexus ship. Maybe I'll steal from this. Yeah, that actually seems like a pretty good idea. Except, god, it still takes up so much space. Okay, what if we have just like one on each side, though? That could actually be pretty compact. If we have, say... We're just looking for two of these, one of these, and I th think... Uh, we only need two condenser turbines. If they're going to be modular. Yeah, we actually... Figured out the ratio somehow over here. Why does it not jump to where I'm pointing? Uh, it is six high temp turbine generators to nine condenser turbines. To get basically a perfect ratio of uh, just barely being able to deal with the low temp steam output. Six to nine, so one point five. So one to two is the best we can do if it's going to be dedicated condens uh, condenser turbines. Two to three would work, but like, how would we make it symmetrical? So do we want to do it like this? Uh, kind of? I guess water could go straight back that way. Except now we're not really following... following the same shape anymore. A basic slant. Ideally, I'd like them to just direct connect to the antimatter reactors. And I guess we could just do it like that, kind of. Water just goes straight back up that way. It's very straight. Um, but that would be valid. Maybe we can make it fit a bit better around the engines than this. Maybe. I'm pretty sure we'll have to move the condenser turbines. If this is going to be even remotely snug. Where, where's the boosters? If we still have room for our I.O. here. And we would have to. That could be one tile closer. If we really want. Although I don't see how that would work. Uh, 
though, which means the condenser turbines are going to have to be somewhere else. Also, what the heck is this? That doesn't go there. This goes into this goes into this. We could probably move the high temp back this way a bit. That doesn't really help, does it? Really did come up with something kind of snug here. Hmm. We want it to fit around this kind of design. But be as cozy as possible. But we don't need, like, three of these in a repeating pattern. Maybe we'll find out we need two, but I doubt it. And I don't want it to take, as, take up as much space. Oh, we only need two of these, don't we? Um, I guess we could also put that, like, here. But then the low temp steam would have to find its way all the way back around like this. Not too fond of that. Can we do it like this? Of course that would connect. Something like that. That's not too bad. Except that the water is going to get contaminated there. So water for this one can go straight back in here. And we need to skip over these ones. How many tiles is this? Eleven. Uh... Eight, twelve, twelve. There's no convenient way to do this. I guess two threes and a five. Does that work? With the side connections? It does. That's not too bad. Yeah, I actually kind of like this. That, that honestly looks pretty good. Uh, we are going to need a big old water tank somewhere. This is... seems like the most obvious place. We don't need to make it this big, though. How about a vanilla tank? Mm. So vanilla tank fits kind of like this. Which kind of sucks. Large K2 storage tank is... I guess a little bit better. It's got about the same footprint. More storage. We don't necessarily want more storage though because it'll cost us container stress. Though I expect our container stress for this ship is going to be quite small. Uh, and huge is kind of out of the question as well. Um... Yeah, I just don't really like how that fits. I guess this'll do. I guess it'll have to. It's not too, too bad. Anyway, we can fit a uh, copious... copious antimatter storage, like here-ish, if we so desire. Uh, and we can probably put that quite close, actually. We can almost put it right up next to this. Have another antimatter storage tank there. That looks pretty good. Let's mirror this. And... Copy, paste, flip. Uh, and then we need 
some antimatter engines just like that seems a good okay have we saved the kind of space for what I've got in mind here because really what I want to have is like another layer of engines going down like that Not sure why it takes so long to place a spaceship floor. I'm pretty sure it's not that laggy placing concrete, for example. Wait, what? Oh, I guess it is. Okay. So then we want maybe starting like here. Can we get away with that? Even more engines. Spaceship wall. Uh, we're going to need some fluid pipes. Gonna need some walls. Gonna need some maybe minimizing our footprint here. Maybe not quite like that. That looks kind of naff. But that's kind of beside the point. So this would go like here. So far we don't actually have any overlap. Uh, I mean, we could change that. Something like that. Okay. Is that going to be, like, not streamlined? Maybe we'll do it like this instead. I don't know if the part at the back gets counted for streamline or not. There's no middle tile for this. Oh, there kind of is. I think. So that goes there. No, this would start here. Um, so it's how many tiles across? Five and fourteen down. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That should be exactly in the middle, right? No, there is no such place. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's, there's no... Is there just no consistent way to do this? Fringe. Also, we need to play around the pipes. Well, why don't I just do that? So we're trying to go from here to here with a consistent, smooth pattern. That's not right. More faster spaceship, indeed. Wait for thin ship sections penalty? Oh, no. Does this, like... That doesn't 
work, does it? It it actually does. Those little holes are bugging me. Yeah, that that seems to be correct. Okay, cool. And we're going to do the same thing over here, perhaps? Except we're going to need some shields up the front, right? So it's probably going to have some more, some more space in front of it this time. I really don't like this square bit. That's not right either. Maybe he liked that. Gonna look like a weird stick man or something. Uh, let's throw in some shield projectors so we can see where they would fit. Probably right about here. Is that actually consistent? I think so. Yeah, cool. And we've got, like, double layer shields all the way. That seems alright. Now, I'm a little bit concerned about... I, I don't really want to have, like, separate fuel storages. I do want these to be connected to these, so we'll probably put them a little bit further out. In fact, probably more like, like this, perhaps, or I, I would have to put it even closer because we need that, we need that pipe to make its way over here. Can we underground through this? Just barely. So what if that just happened to line up? over here. Are these engines too close? How much penalty are we looking at here? I guess we could make a little test ship just to prove it. It's going to look very weird. Antimatter engine. So I basically want to put antimatter engines as close as possible and then less close uh, and see how different the penalty is. Would guess around 50%. Uh, and we need walls. So like that, right? This this would obviously be really bad. I want to see exactly how bad. Oops. Um, and then on the other side, well, not on the other side. Uh, 
we want like so this is one tile Let, let's see what two tiles looks like So I, th I imagine it's the number of tiles of empty space that are directly behind the engine is what matters. And could we maybe fit like another one of these? I guess this would have to go up here. And I guess one more. Yeah, we're basically just going to keep doing this. Uh, and somehow get antimatter to it. Do we not have more engines? Antimatter engine zero. We are missing ion engines. Because. Because. Uh, do we have them in the robot network? We do. I probably just haven't got a request for them. Which is weird, because I'm pretty sure I should have bumped into this sooner. And it's fine. We'll probably have to whitelist them as well. Here we go. Iron engine. Time to hydrate. Alright, so we're able to make antimatter engines again. Cool. Um, probably want to get rid of this floor in the middle. Not that one. Wait, no. I'm confused. This part should be empty. And I guess this part should be floored. And I guess that's enough to slap something together now. Um, I don't know if Streamline affects the engine percentages, so we'd better make sure it's Streamline just to remove that variable. Uh, might want to actually make sure those connect. And we're going to need at least one booster tank. Okay. So put this in the middle. And that doesn't quite fit like that. That should be fine. And that should probably be streamlined. Uh, and we might need some lasers or something. We don't need this ship to go fast, I just want to see the percentage numbers that it reports for each engine. I imagine not very high with only three tiles of space behind them. Uh, 
And we're going to have to get antimatter in there somehow. Could do it over here. Oops. Uh, how many tiles is this? 13. Uh, forgot to put some kind of power source. That might be a good idea. Well, we're probably just going to have to move this part forward so that we can squeeze in a thermofluid generator. Fluid isothermic. And just bring that forward. I don't think any of our ships over here use those. There's one. And we're just going to squeeze this in over here somewhere. Doesn't really matter where. Now that looks tacky. Whatever, as long as it's streamlined. Alright. Integrity. Power pull. Right about here, I guess. Valid. And we're probably going to want to speed limit this. Because with eight engines, even, even if most of these don't get much percentage out of them, with only a handful of laser turrets on, I'm sure we're going to go a bit too fast. Very, very quickly. Okay, let me in. Let me in. It's not working. Let me in. There we go. Alright. Test. Uh, launch? Uh, go anywhere but here? about Caledus Orbit. And 62, 64, 66, 67, I think it said. Yeah. Okay, so there's diminishing returns. Presumably, you're never going to get like 100%. Uh, if there's something behind one of these engines. Um, but as a really, really rough idea, it's like 2% per tile or less. But it, start, it, it, it starts at 62% uh, with only one tile behind it. So... Uh, 38 over 2. I imagine at like 20 to 30 tiles of gap, we're probably, probably starting to get somewhere.
That is not a small amount. So let's make this thing longer. What was it? 62 was the minimum, right? I missed. Yeah, and we'll just lengthen this at the back, I guess. And then see what happens. So, so far, over here we've got, like... 12 tiles. I think that's going to be a bit too close for a decent percentage, which is about what we uh, expected. Uh, which means I really would like to put these, like, up here instead. But I think we should still probably have... Can I not... Uh, we, we should pro still probably keep the separate antimatter tanks connected. So, maybe up. I guess this is about the best we can do. Somewhere like here. Grab a 15. What did I just delete? There we go. And this goes here. Or alternatively, I like that. I really don't like the piping mess. Maybe the reactors could take up more of this space instead. Or not the reactors, the turbines. I get 90% with over 56 tile gaps. Damn. Do they consume... Do they still give you the same thrust per antimatter, or are you missing out? It doesn't really matter, though. Antimatter is extremely cheap for what it does. How far, how much space do we need to get, like, decently into diminishing returns? Is what I want to know. Uh, so... Did I not cut that? I guess not. It's pretty simple, though. We're just gonna... Do it something like this. And extend what we have. over there. And then this goes up here. Ha ha oops. Ha ha oops. War Striker, thank you very much for the sub. Much appreciated, thank you. And welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Thank you so much for two months. All right. How many tiles is this? Uh, 26, 27, 28, 29. Alright, is this valid? It is... Alright, let's see what we got. Let's 
let's see what we get. Or did I just hit the integrity check? Is that what's going on? Alright. So... Wait, we just saw the percentages, didn't we? Even though I didn't go anywhere. I missed them. Calidus Orbit. 83, 83, 84, 84. Okay, that's not too bad, but I mean, honestly, it's kind of bad. Considering how much space we have here, only 80%. Alright, so what was it? Like 20... almost 30 tiles. Like 25 tiles to get 80%, something like that. Considering that you get 62% with only one empty tile behind them, uh, I guess if you really wanted the most speed for the smallest space, the optimal build would be absolutely cramming it with engines vertically, which would be kind of gross. But we can try and do something a bit more elegant. So how many tiles is this? 35, so it should be creeping towards 90%, but not quite. That's not too bad. Yeah, I can probably live with that. And then... Keep going up this way? What is this This for? Can we do better with the turbine generators being in the way, though? As much as I like what I came up with here, maybe we can do better. Maybe we can do better. Perhaps. In theory. Well, that's more or less staying there. Um, what if this faced this way? I guess we're kind of just turning it around, aren't we? Parts of it, at least. That's probably not going to work out so well for us. What if these were not just next to each other? Is there a universe where that helps? Mm, I, I doubt it. But maybe. How are we going to get water back into this one? And, and or steam back through here? We're not? Good talk. Mm. I'm kind of going to put a... Elephant crate engine from Mopar into an e-smart car. <laughs> Building something really dumb is what I'm good at. Sounds good. Not bad seems quick. The glass ship... Glass ship, though, due to its mass. Uh, yeah, I, I put a severe speed limit on it. We were just testing how much percentage we get out of the engines. Um... If we could only, like, crisscross these pipes, all of our problems would be solved forever. Maybe... maybe we just do it like this. No, that still doesn't help, does it? There's not room for a crisscrossing corner here. Not particularly fond of that. Mm. 
No, this just keeps getting worse. Um, it's not out of the question to have, like, a couple of these here. And then this goes here. That actually just goes directly back into the high temp uh, heat exchanger. The water from this one. I kind of like that. Can we make the rest of it work? No, because where the heck is the water from this going to go? Oh? I don't like this empty space here, but other than that... I... I... I guess we could use it for water storage. We can't fit a huge there conveniently, can we? We actually can. Is it too much wasted container stress to put a huge storage tank here? Because that is very cozy. I actually kind of like that. So then water goes here, low temp steam goes here, and we've probably done a bit better for fitting the power plant in the general shape of the ship that we're building. That actually looks pretty good. Uh, I don't think it's helped the problem whatsoever with getting antimatter from here to here, though. I think we just have to have separate storage tanks. Which I know is a little bit cringe. Really, though? That is a pretty nice little power plant. Wait, I see the problem. Do you see the problem yet? How are we going to fuel these? Maybe four reactors are too much? Uh, they give 400 megawatt without neighbor bonus. Plus 100% would be 800 megawatt each, which means... We're bottlenecked on the antimatter reactors as opposed to the high temp turbine generators. But maybe we don't actually need. I'm sure we don't actually need like two anti, uh, high temp turbine generators worth of power, right? It'll give more bonus, but fuel is cheap anyway? Yeah. Normally, I wouldn't like to go below 2x2, two two, but that might actually be the answer here. And I think that's as close as we can put it. Could probably put the spaceship console here. Nice and cozy. Right between the reactor and the engines. High temp gens are not connected. Uh, not connected to what? Oh, wait, no? 
Oh, these... Oh my god. Yeah, that's a problem. I can't believe I missed that. Well, it's fine. I, I kind of do want to have the 4x4 antimatter reactors anyway. That much more efficient. Also more power. Move the core one time up and that will give you space for the 2x2 two two reactor. Move the core one... The tile, one tile up. Move the core up. Oh, you mean like... Well, we, we, we can't get the high, high temp steam out of this anyway. Yeah, we're going to have to scrap that. Uh, what else can we come up with? I think putting these next to each other is probably still going to be for the best. Oh. Uh, well, that'd be nice if we could actually get the output from the low temp steam to go somewhere. And if I put this over here, we need a bit of pipe spaghetti. And I don't like where the lower temp turbines would be in this case. <sighs> I'm going to end up reinventing what I did over here, aren't I? More or less. Is that good? It's not great. No, we can we can definitely do better than this, I'm sure. about like this. That's not too bad. Is that the same as what we ended up doing? I think it's a little different to what we have for our second gen construction ship. Uh, yeah, it, it's pretty, oh, it, it's not that close because this goes sideways. It's got some similarities. Yeah. That actually looks pretty good. Although there's going to be a lot more space back here. Hmm, is that okay? Maybe we just put more, like, antimatter fuel here? Remove that. No, that's as close as it gets. We've got room for IO here, if we put, like, six fuel tanks in the middle. T-Hacks is a bad influence. I wanted to program Stargate Solver, but I keep thinking about ship designs. Who doesn't think about ship designs? Just always. Oh, I guess we can fit this here still. Oh, 
That seems decent. Uh, and we still have the problem of we can't smuggle antimatter through here. I don't think we can come up with like a good way around that anyway. Right? If we're going to do these layered like engine wings. I mean, I could just put it up here as well. So we still have 100% engine output. And then the next one, if we're not cutting into our percentages, would go like here. That's kind of weird. I kind of like one of these to connect directly. How about if we just put a 15 here? No, not quite. I mean, maybe? How many tiles behind is that? Twenty. Uh, it's exactly 20. So we're looking at, what, less than 80%? I mean, that's still pretty good for how much space we're not taking up, though. Why don't we try it? And see what happens. And I hope this is enough uh, shield generators. We can make chat prediction, indeed. Oh, we need some room. Uh, I, I, I could just put this over here this time. Something like that. Does wire reach across here? No. Does this cover everything? Not quite. So we'll need, like, another one back here or something. That's no big deal. Does this reach? No. Alright. More engines? Uh, still more engines? Something like that. And... I guess... Walls are going to look something like that. That looks weird. Whatever. Let's just slap something together so it's testable. rid of the arbitrarily unflippable things. Cut. Cut. Flip. And... Paste. It actually doesn't look too bad, weirdly enough. Engines. Um... How about we borrow from... Why did I get rid of it? Here we go.
Sorry, from this for the front of the shields. Nice arc. And let's do the walls kind of like that. Does that look alright? It's a bit jagged the way it changes, but it's probably fine. Is it streamlined? Would probably help if we put spaceship floor in so we could calculate it. Oh boy. All of the UPS. There we go. Yeah, there's really no need to build them over space. Uh, let's decon some floors. That's gonna be... That's gonna be a task and a half. Can we just calculate container stress and stuff first? No tiles found connected to a properly, uh, properly enclosed console. Wait, did I get rid of the floor here? I did. Or I never put it there. If I floor decon plan... Oh, it actually gets rid of it. Huh. Well, that's one reason to plan it with space. I guess... Uh, all right, fine. I'll put it up here. There's actually plenty of room. And then we can floor decon planner and not take the floor from under the engines. All right, so what's the problem? Oh, it's valid. Status valid. Seems good. You can see exactly which parts don't belong. Uh, what kind of stats do we have so far? Hull stress 2667. It's a bit more than I was expecting. Empty space bonus is maxed out. So we can probably get away with trimming this a bit. And maybe like this, for example. All right, what kind of hull stress now? Twenty-five thirty-six. I'd like to get it under twenty-five hundred if I can, but it's not really that important. This is just some end game mucking about. Although, if we could make it so that you didn't need one more research to unlock it, all the better. Can't launch in editor? No, we can't. You don't need to decon floor, just launch? <laughs> yeah, no. Not in the editor. How would we save just a little bit of hull stress, though? I mean, I could make this a bit of bit more of a curve. I, I'm pretty sure we're still maxed out on empty space bonus. Empty tiles 309, yes. A, a th uh, spaceship floor, neg uh, sorry, plus 3090. Empty tiles, minus 309, 10%. That's how we know. I, I could also just add some more, like, spaceship wall pillars in there as well. 
Uh, if we're just trying to squeeze it down to 2,500 hull stress and we're almost there. Didn't know you could get three lines of spaceship floor deleted here without removing... It's probably because the shield projector was there. Yeah, it must be. Okay. Kind of looks like a big arrow, or maybe some creepy horror game monster. And we've got plenty of room to squeeze in some accumulators or whatever. Uh, so what kind of hull stress is, should still be 2536.5, right? Calculating. Uh, yes. Some sections will disconnect when maneuvering. Where? Oh, here we go. Uh, quite a few little... little bits over here, actually. Okay. But I'm pretty sure that doesn't affect the calculation. Pollen man, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. What's the goal for this ship? Go fast and don't be hull stress six million. Uh and don't have I guess the biggest footprint ever. We are going in a, a little bit into Neg uh, less than 100% engine efficiency territory with this design. I need to make blue tech cards, but they take spark plugs. Also, this ship is from Zora? Is a Zora from LOZ. Okay. Um, can we shave off 36 hull stress somehow? How much does this do? Should be like 4 or something, right? 2536.5 2530.5 So that was 6. I don't think we're shaving off another 30. Um by adding some pillars. Uh this is actually not needed. I guess we could put this up here. That's not going to make a whole lot of difference, but we'll see. Shave the armpits, <laughs> indeed. 2516, that's actually getting pretty close. Uh, what if we make this square? I guess it's not going to look that bad. Also, what's our empty space bonus? Maxed out. I I'm sure we'll still have a maxed out empty space bonus looking at this. 2494. Nice. Cool. Uh, I kind of want to smooth out the curve at the front, but I, I want to test it more than I want to do that. Let's put in some Naquim accumulators, uh, which we will need for the inserter logic, and we may as well have a few more. Is that still under budget? Uh, 2494. Nice. Very cool. Why don't we test this? Uh, how do we get the antimatter fuel in? We can do it pretty much anywhere we want. We could do it like here. You do it here. You do it here, here. 
all kinds of places. Water resupply uh, is a little bit of a pain, actually. Water resupply is a lot of a pain, actually. I could uh, put it over here, I guess. That doesn't quite work. We could do it like this way. Or I could add um, an electric boiler somewhere to melt ice. Can this reach? Yeah, it can. Uh, so what if we... I'm, I'm pretty sure we can... I'm pretty sure container stress is basically free here. So we can have practically unlimited water. Hull stress... 24.94 still. Yeah, I'm pretty sure, uh, I'm pretty sure we're not coming close to losing our empty space bonus. Still 24.94. Okay, cool. Which means we could add some containers to this to actually make it useful as well, if we so desire. And like RoboPorts or whatever, shouldn't be difficult. Water, ice. Uh, we can actually fit this much. Not 96,000. 9.6k. Yeah. Container stress is still like one-tenth of hull stress. Uh, it doesn't get counted. Uh, the, whichever one is bigger gets counted and the other one is ignored. So this is basically free. Uh, and then we're going to do the usual... Uh, insert a logic. Let's connect it this way. And we just need to connect that to accumulators. Which I would also like to use to set target speed in case something's going wrong. So, speed signal. Uh, target speed potentially 1200. But if we get down to like, I don't know one-sixth of our accumulator charge, we're going to... These need to be moved forward. Otherwise a big rock would probably hit that. Hello? Oh, do we not have power here? Alright, antimatter canisters... To keep them in sync and make sure we don't waste fuel, we are going to have a constant combinator, which we can borrow for the spaceship console stuff as well, like clamp settings. Uh, but it's going to say anti uh, magnetic canister one. Actually. Yeah, no, we just need that, like, initially. Um, we're going to enable... Enable, disable outputting of the used antimatter canisters based on accumulator charge. Uh, if it drops, like, 5%, then we want to put more heat in. So, let's call it 1150. 
will be putting more antimatter fuel in before it drops 5%. And read contents. And when we detect a magnetic canister, we're going to insert more. And the only thing is that you need to kickstart it with a fake antimatter canister signal. Tile of floor outside on top left. Indeed, indeed. All right. Uh, I'm going to need a short break. We'll be back quite soon. Do some words on stream, I suppose. My circuit works exactly the same. Need to kickstart it. Indeed. All right, uh, I guess we just had an ad break, right? So we'll just jump straight into this. We'll start words on stream now-ish. I'll be back in a few minutes, uh, right after I do the thingy. There we go. Good luck, have fun, and I'll see you soon.
Okay, let's get to actually building this thing. Right after this antimatter drains out. More, <laughs> indeed. Alright. We might continue the words later on. For now, let's continue with Factorio. 260, 50, 40 antimatter. It's pretty cheap, but it's... It's pretty materially cheap, but very, uh... Like, energy and time expensive, and also costs thermofluid looping. So I don't want to casually waste antimatter. But I'm not going to be so pedantic as to worry about this much. Oh, and we should probably go and make a blueprint of this, right? Um, where do we fit clamps? Lucky. That's almost perfect. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy enough with putting the clamps here. Except... Then they're not connected to the poles. Hmm. I don't suppose we can squeeze them in here. M33P, M33P. M33 P. Meep, meep. Repetitive beats. Thank you so much for the eight months of Prime. Very much appreciated. Thank you. And welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. That actually reaches. Beautiful. Uh... It is going to cost a tiny amount of hull stress, swapping out the walls, but I think we should be able to stay under 2,500, uh, if only just barely. How much is this? Exactly 25, oh no, it's 2,500.5. Rude. So rude. Alright, that should do it. $24.99. And we've got... No power. Wait, what? Oh, I didn't put water here, that's why. Water, ice... Of course, that needs power. Boiled again. Was that not enough? Wait. Oh, it's connected wrong. God damn it. God damn it. Alright, how about this? Should still be the same hull stress. Because we've got more than enough empty space bonus. Cool. I don't love the look of that, but what are you going to do? Squeeze it in over here somehow? Uh, it's okay. Or we could just, you know, pump the water in from outside. But then we wouldn't have ludicrous amounts of range. With the uh, with not worrying about water running out, I also uh, can probably fit some more antimatter boosters quite easily. Not really here though. I mean, we could. Um, ten booster tanks should have a decent range. Could put put some in here as well. I'm pretty sure we already confirmed we've we've got loads of space left over for empty tile bonus, right? So this should be free. 
And we can have, honestly, practically unlimited antimatter storage. Let's see. Can't wait for more redesign when T-Hex finds out engine efficiency is 66%. Nah, it's not going to be that bad. But also, it, it's, it's more about getting more engine speed without taking up that much space. Otherwise, we'd just make it really, really wide. Missing pipe, bottom right tank. Thank you. Wait, what was the result here? Twenty-four ninety-nine still. Yeah, that seems okay. So this should have absolutely ludicrous range. Fantastic. Um, can we green wire to this? I'm sure we can. Uh, and we could also green wire the uh, antimatter tanks, but I'm not going to like fully automate this going anywhere. Health stress should drop a little bit if we do stuff like this, right? Yes, it does. 2487. All right, that'll do. 2481. Adding mass makes the ship go faster. What should we call this? The abominable ship man? The arrow? Uh, we don't want to change the snap to. Alright. That'll do. Toss it in here. And... Um, where do I want to put it? Because we might end up keeping this if it's any good. Just for funsies. How about over here? Looks like we can just build the whole thing. It's already in range of the robot network. It's a lot of floor. I don't know if we have that much in storage still. I did bump up the amount that we build up to, but I'm not sure if we have that much lying around. And, of course, the construction train is getting filled up. Oh. Can't deconstruct myself. Good good talk. I cannot self-terminate. We just about done with this floor, then? Gonna need some pipe. Cannot self terminate damn it, hacks? Oh, I beat you to it? Lamel. Streamer ping advantage.
That's going to take a while to fill up, but we don't need to fill it up to test it. Oh, um, minor problem, but we can fix it. We want to limit uh, ice input. We only want about 80% full water. Something like that. Make sure there's plenty of room for the internal steam to get turned into water. Cool. Now where's our antimatter? Oh, it's coming. It's coming very, very slowly. What's going on there? Uh, where, where, where's that? Where's our antimatter? Are we still playing catch up since lithium was slow? Judging by particle stream storage, the answer is yes. Are we making antimatter? This one's full. This one's mostly full. And this one's, like, a bit empty. Hmm. So why are we so short on antimatter here? I thought we had it supplied by train, but now I have no idea, to be honest. Where... Where does antimatter come in? Uh, oh, here it is. I was looking right at it. Oh, I switched this off at some point. And we had tons in storage. So it took ages to notice the problem. Cool, cool, cool. Well, this ship is bigger than our victory ship. by... Eh, it's kind of about the same size, depending on how you look at it. Um, container stress or hull stress? Just under 3k for the victory ship, which was quite challenging. Uh, and this one was just under 2500, right? Victory ship looks a bit more chubby. Um, but yeah, we're playing catch-up with antimatter engines as well. We need another 11. Do we have everything we need? Should do. Yeah, we do. Okay, cool. Autocraft is just a little bit slow. Speed is not its strong point. Being able to make literally hundreds of different items with a handful of machines. That's its strong point. I could probably request more heat shielding. Uh, where's the whitelist? Here it is. There we go. That'll be a bit faster. Okay. Boop. Five more engines to go. This must be another one. And how much antimatter do we have? You know what? Maybe I should wire this up if only so that we can check that very easily. It looks weird on the right side. Uh, and over here. And 
and at least this is going to look a bit less tacky. I say a bit. What? Where is that connected to? There we go. Should probably have a clamp. Um, it would probably help if I put a floor there first. And... What should be our unique number for this one? Can we have wire update now, right? Um, how about... I think, uh, using spaceship left. Oh, I kind of want those facing each other. Anchor to target right. And what's a memorable number that I haven't used yet? I think it's 705. The medical armory. In any case, that'll be unique. Alright, so how much uh, antimatter fuel do we have? 34,000. That'll last us at least five minutes. So we've got at least double shields everywhere, right? This part's maybe a little bit sketchy if a rock hits like here. I don't really want to have to add more shields, but maybe... Maybe it's not the worst idea. Let's just confirm uh, that we're still going to be... We, we should still be well under 2,500 hull stress. 2,481. Cool, so that was basically free. And I hope double-layered shields are going to be enough. Because I really don't want to have to find room for triple-layered shields. Not for a ship of this scale. Accumulators are still charging. Oh. They're actually draining. Because we didn't, uh... Connect ourselves back to... The main network yet. I guess we don't need that floor, but... Can we just not with that mess? There we go. And we should probably... Wait, so just the passive drain of the shields was draining the accumulators that quickly. Uh, and we should probably get the reactors warmed up. There we go. Actually, I think it takes two insertions with a 4x4 reactor to get the initial 5k heat. We'll soon find out. I kind of want to see how it performs without being warmed up as well. Alright, uh, destination for a test. How about Shattered Skies or Crystal Collective? I'm sure we'll uh, figure out if this is working before we get to Shattered Skies. Antimatter's not actually reaching these engines yet. That's probably because there's pipe missing over here.
Good talk. Fantastic. It's a bird, indeed. Alright, should we give it a try? Oh, should we make a prediction first? Have we done that? What kind of speed... This is kind of assuming that this works smoothly, but what kind of top speed are we going to get? I would hope it would be approaching 300. Considering this absurdity that we've built. It's a plane. We have unresolved about engine efficiency. Oh, okay. Or should we just, like, stop the ship once we see the engine efficiency? Which engine are we betting on, though? Because all of these are going to be a little bit different, or some of them are, right? Launch first without going anywhere? All right. Uh, we're well above... Wait, what the fu... Oh. I forgot to change these to stack size 1. And hence we put in way more antimatter canisters than necessary. That's why we're well over 5,000 degrees here. Alright, let's launch. And see what it has to say for itself. 80%... Oh, all of these are 100, except these two are 80%. The these ones are 100, really. Oh no, this one... I see. Yeah, 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 that makes sense. Alright, let's stop the ship before we find out how fast it is. Uh, so, what was the prediction? Exactly 80%. Indeed. Yes wins. Engine efficiency greater than or equal to 78%. It was very close. Uh, that's a lot of yes. Or at least a lot of points on yes. Comparatively. Fantastic. Alright. Um, is 300 a realistic guess? Like, to make it difficult to guess if this will go faster or slower? I would certainly hope it can manage 300. 280, maybe? 290? Believers keep winning. Believers always win in this place. Um, let, let's be a little bit bold. I'm going to say 300. Maybe it's not that bold. Arrow ship greater than or equal to 300 speed. Go. And we'll give it a minute. Alright, so what shall we do while we wait for that? Um, we're already automatically setting target speed, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Can we find anything broken or that only takes a couple of minutes to do something about? Oh, has this been working? Yes, it has. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, I, I, I seriously doubt that we need two trains to bring this stuff up. Um, is there not a train for this one? Oh, we haven't assigned it yet. Okay. Well, in that case... Uh, I'm gonna borrow this train. And... That's going to be the train that we assign to whatever we put here. How many engines do you have? Uh, let's see. Tw 28. 
Not a small amount. I'll have a good gamble, indeed. Okay. What should we put in this quarter block for bringing stuff up the elevator? Uh, how about purple things? I like purple things. We can keep them all together. So that is going to be crystals. Emesite crystal. Uh... Immersium plate. Immersium gear wheel and immersium beam. I just want to double check again that we actually need all of these things directly up the space elevator. Because we found a couple that weren't really necessary. AI core is done downstairs. So is this. Mole, 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 mole. Dynamic emitters are upstairs. Cool. Uh, plate. Goes into... Goes into what? Is this all just going to be mole stuff? Maybe I'll just do it anyway. Uh, optimization tech data. Research data. Okay, cool. Uh, next is gear. Which... We need for advanced tech cards. Can that happen on the ground? Surely not. Surely not. No. No, it cannot. Uh, and last but not least is beams. Immersium beams. Uh, don't really need to come up the space elevator. But I'm going to overlook it, so we can just keep all that purple stuff together. It's fine. Alright, was that a, enough time for our prediction? Let's see how we go. 300 speed, if you please. What are we up to so far? 200, 210, 220, 230, 240, starting to slow down our rate of acceleration. 270, I think we're going to make it. 280, 290, yeah, I think 300 was almost pessimistic. Look at that, blew past it. 305, 310. Uh, whether or not the shields can keep up with it is kind of another question, but the engines are certainly very much capable of 320. Nice. It looks to me like the shields are capable of keeping us safe, though. I actually thought we'd see more big rocks. There's one. Ooh, that's a little scary. I guess technically, if you got two big rocks in basically the same time and place. You're joking. What the... Wh no. That's illegal. What? How fast did we go? 326. What was that? It just went straight through the shields. Th they, they were already charged. Are you kidding? 
Well, it can maintain 300, so does that mean we win? I... what the... What is this? That shouldn't be allowed. Bruh. How many layers of shields do we need to stop that? Twelve? How do you even fit that together? Bruh. Uh, what did we... What did we lose? Oh, we can't even tell just from ghosts. High temp heat exchangers, reactors... Does our construction ship carry these things? That's not our construction ship. Uh, here it is. I don't remember packing those things. This was more for outposting. Um, do we have spaceship walls? There we go. Okay, spaceship walls check. We can at least make it limp home. Uh, antimatter booster tanks? There's no engines here. Why are there no engines here still? We're not even trying to make them. Which means they're probably in a green chest somewhere. Where would the engines be? That was two boulders? It was? Could be even better, the rock could have... Oh no, that was not a rock. What do you mean? Tom Lee, Knoised, welcome in. Bidris. Tiny Goliath, Majagus. Hope you're all doing well today. The first one went through two and a half hit points of shields. So it was two on top of each other. Like literally right on top of each other. Um, I was about to check where the hell these engines are. Oh. Okay. Wait. Oh, you do have five in storage. Okay, fine. Let's just increase the target for engines. If I can ever figure out where they are. Um, but more to the point, we're looking for spaceship walls. Check. Spaceship floor, I don't know if it's in the construction ship. It should be. It is. Um, may as well bring some antimatter boosters. I mean reactors. High temp. Heat exchanges. Um, yeah, we should have everything. I don't know if we have antimatter reactors here, though. Oh, we do. We do. Okay. So let's just... Target the construction ship. Target the... Arrow? I thought I called this the arrow. Oh, it was in the blueprints. Not the actual ship name. And come rescue us, please. New ship rocks? Let me have a look at that in slow mo. I'm pretty sure that is one rock. That is one mega rock. Yeah. It was on like 1% hit points as well. 
and it smashed through everything. So a laser turret would have stopped it. Literally just a laser turret. As kind of a pinch hitter after the shields. Uh, would have been enough. Do we have some laser turrets? I'm pretty sure the construction ship has some laser turrets. Why don't we see how this does with some laser turrets? But we'll add more than a couple. Because why wouldn't we? Just unlucky shield hit points? Man, that really sucks. Yeah, you always... You either want to put the lasers uh, kind of behind the shields... Um, or the shields well and truly behind the lasers, as a rule. But after that incident, I'd really rather, rather be overkill than take any chances. Might just cram in as many as we can and see if the uh, hull stress doesn't go down. 2482. Where does this go? Here. Yeah. Sea Moogle, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Okay, so when's our construction ship reaching us? I think it's already here. Yeah, it just arrived. The how fast is this? Uh, I guess I have to do the boarding thing. It can't actually... Does this... Uh-oh. Um, I think we have to technically move for just a second. How many pieces of wall are missing up here? Eight. I think we can manage. But there's a hole in the floor. Dear Liza, dear Liza. Also, I have tons of walls in my in my inventory. Didn't know I'd need to bring some spaceship floor. Uh, I guess we can... Steal some of this. And that should be valid. Now we can board the how fast is this. Right. Okay. Alright, so I need to memorize what we're missing here. Uh, probably need some pipe. Won't worry too much about it right now. Need a little bit of floor. Need some laser turrets. Uh, need some shield projectors. It's possible we lost combinator. No, it's fine. All right, let's see if that's enough. I have a blind keyboard, e.g. blank keys, so that that's why it went wrong. Wait, what? I always wanted to get a keyboard with, like, braille characters on it, so I didn't have to... Like, I'm, I'm a pretty good typist. I, I'm, a, I'm a decent typist, but, like, I do need to find F or J to figure out where I am sometimes with the little dimple thingies. Uh, and it would be a really neat way to to learn a language as well. Uh, we need some lighted pylon substations, an electric boiler. I can guarantee we're not carrying that. Uh, a condenser turbine. And an inserter. What 
What am I looking for again? Or rather, where is it? I'm pretty sure we don't have... Don't have any melters in here. Yeah, no. I'm already blanking on what the rest of it was. Oh yeah, condenser turbine. We didn't bring those either, did we? Okay, well, the ship's just going to have to limp home a little bit. Let me in. Yeah, it'll it'll function without this. All right, let's go back to Hagen orbit. Um Probably not too quickly, please. Just limit it to 100. Why is target speed still 200? Oh, right. That's what I... That's what I meant to do. I mean, 200 would probably be safe, even though we're missing... We're no longer missing a shield generator. Uh, what's our hull stress? It's still 2481, and probably the same once we replace these. Cool, cool, cool. Let's send you home as well. And I'll be back in just a sec. Alright, what's our ETA? 57 seconds. That's actually a lot less than I thought it would be at this speed. I'm sure we can go a little bit faster. I don't know if a weakened rock Hitting the shields means the shields are going to lose fewer hit points or not. Um, I'm pretty sure our power issues are non-existent. Fantastic. Yeah, we'll see how this does with... Should I put some more laser turrets back here as well? Probably. could actually be moved over a bit. So much for the laser turrets being the pinch hitters. Oh, we're here? We are here. Fantastic. Alright, that's symmetrical, right? think so. And we've replaced everything. I should think so. Fantastic. 
All right, take two. Uh, and I guess the prediction is, will it be stable? Also... Um, that's going to be a little bit awkward. I guess I'll just put one more in here. That'll sort itself out. Okay. Let's do a prediction. Missing a shield at the front. Indeed we were. My F and J have small bumps on them, so they can be found by touch. Yes, that's what I'm referring to. Uh, but I would love it if... At the very least, if more keys had that, like E, for example. Um... But it'd be cool to have, like, Braille on the keyboard. Partly so that I could just know by touch whatever letter I'm looking at. Could do a lot more left-handed typing. Get much better at that. But also... Learn that pretty quickly. Anyway, uh, let's do a prediction. Got to go, good luck. Alright, take care, see Moogle. Thanks for stopping by. Okay. Will our ship be stable at max speed? Do the six little blocks of wall on the inside do anything, or are they just cosmetic? They actually do do something. Um, if you mouse over hull stress, you see how it calculates it. Um, spaceship floor costs hull stress. Spaceship wall uh, gives it back. And empty tiles, up to having 10% of the spaceship empty, uh, gives you some hull stress back. Or subtracts it, rather. Welcome in, Captain True. Okay. Arrow ship greater than or equal to 300 speed uh, was a yes. And whether or not it is stable, um, is another question. All right, place your bets if you please. Three twenty or whatever it was, the top speed uh, is a bit more than I was hoping for with this ship. So that that part's not disappointing. The question is if we can make it make it actually work at that point. Still twenty four eighty one hull stress, fantastic. All right. Uh, I guess I'll wait till the prediction timer is getting low. And then we'll get back to some productive stuff. How's our science doing? I don't think the Singularity tech cards have moved in a long time. Although we have been making DSS-3. Pack 3, last hour. Pretty consistent. What's the rate that we've been making it? About... 50 per minute? Maybe a bit more? If we say it's 50 per minute... Wow. 34 per minute over the last 10 hours, despite all these gaps. 
Uh, that's a quarter of a stack per second. About... Three and a... Uh, more than three hours to get a short train full of deep space science packs. But more to the point, is it enough to... 50 per minute is what? We're, we're aiming for three per second, so that's actually not so great. We're looking for 180 per minute. So if we're actually doing 54 per minute when our inputs are more or less saturated, that's not looking too good. What do I need to change? Oh, there's no tesseracts. Is that the whole reason for it fluctuating? Maybe. Maybe we just need more machines doing tesseracts. I should probably re refactor all of this. Also, how many Arcos do we have? Well, we at least have a couple of each type in reserve. While all of this is in motion, that's pretty good, I guess. We could probably make another trip for Arco Spheres too. Yeah, where have we not gone? I think we went to Shattered Skies last time. Shattered Skies, we did. Stardust, Shattered Skies, Haunted Hallows, Grape Shot, Godash, Felheim. So, we've been here. Let's go to Dark Flare. The Arcospheres. Fantastic. And let's see how this ship does. Target is Shattered Skies. Or even further, because it's really fast. Crystal Collective. And we're about to find out if this thing can... maintain top speed. Without crashing. Maybe I should have carried more things that we might have to replace? Perhaps. That is a big bad rock. Okay, yeah, I'm pretty sure the shields do lose fewer hit points if the rocks have already taken damage. Because a big rock like that would normally insta-pop a shield, but this one did not insta-pop. So I guess the lasers are not useless. Or not ever useless. That's scary. That rock made me nervous. Oh god. I think that's exactly the level of rock that killed us last time. can actually see them popping into existence. And now there's no big rocks. Oh, is it because we went through the asteroid field just now? Uh, that might have something to do with it. Could be. I guess if we really want to stress test this, we should program it to wiggle back and forth on top of a, an asteroid field. As opposed to belt. How fast are we going? 326.9, 0 0.91, 0 0.92. Yikes, that's spooky. Uh, how about we say if we make it to Crystal Collective and back then 
This thing is probably maybe stable. What's our ETA? 16 minutes. Okay, that's a bit further than I thought. Let's say if we get to Crystal Collective without it crashing. Uh, I mean, that's like halfway... It's more than halfway to anywhere without using Foenestra. Um, but yeah, seems pretty steady so far. What kind of spread do we have on the prediction? More believers than doubters, but the doubters have put three times as much points into it. Confident doubters. Three twenty seven. Exactly three twenty seven. Looks like that might be where the speed settles and stops. It's pretty good. Didn't Veldak have to build something like Hull Stress ten thousand or whatever to get near four hundred? It gets very diminishing returns -y. After about, what, 250, 300? I'm surprisingly okay with how this ship looks. I thought it would be more janky than this. Is one more shield on the nose possible? Uh... Oh, I don't... Uh, maybe. But then, this part right here would be extra vulnerable. It doesn't really matter. It's like the Fermi Paradox. You have to... You have to be able to account for 100%. Every use case. My most used personal ship with detachable shuttle has 350. Uh, 350 more stress, 4 more engines, and does 329.27. Nice. That 400 ship was... was met with some asteroids? Oh, right, I see. How big was the 400 ship? How many engines did that take? I think this might be stable. Uh, it could very well be one of those ships that, like, you end up being convinced that it's completely stable, and then literally a hundred hours later, one of them crashes. 102 <laughs> engines. Nice, nice. Go big or go home, I guess. It is very concerning when we see the shields pop, but not much for it but to cross our fingers and hope for the best, though. Alright, uh, how, how close are we? 13, 14 minutes game time. Alright, it's going to take a little while to find out if, uh, if, we've, if we've succeeded here. I'll try to minimize the odds that I get splattered by an asteroid. Uh, while we're not looking. Don't I have power armor? With some lasers in it? 
Yeah, let's let's put that on. If a rocket comes through the ship, we'll probably finish it off with uh, with personal lasers. All right. Uh, meanwhile, we'll do some remote work. What should we tune up? Upgrade me. Okay, yeah, it probably is about time we upgraded this. Didn't we already design this? No, I think Atmo condensers making nitrogen was part of part of purple stuff somewhere, which were which I was aiming to redesign. These never actually got updated. Huh. Also, before I forget, we were going to move purple stuff up the elevator. So let's go with Immersium Gear Wheel and I guess Immersium Beam. It's a lot less of a problem if we're bringing up stuff that we technically don't really need to. Uh, if this is all shared between one train schedule. Alright, so this is... Crystal. Uh, plate. Gear. And beam. Copy paste that. Actually, copy paste this whole thing. For the channel name. And downstairs, we're going to want that channel. And then copy these in here. Put this on manual. Copy that schedule. Change it. Uh. Immersium, here we go. Just like that. Wait till empty. Wait till full. Up the elevator depot, drop off, down the elevator depot, pick up. Seems good. And now we just need to do the LTN requests for these things. Just going to do a couple of train loads for each. Uh, Immersium... Plate. And gear. And beam. 100, 100, 100. So 20k. For each. And it looks like we're already requesting stuff. I should have remembered. What are we bringing? Crystals and also crystals. We've probably already got a bunch of this stuff up here. Hopefully we've got room to move it all. Um, and we've got another train load over here. Okay. Manual... Uh, go over here, please. Go over here, please. Wait till empty, wait till inactivity, and also some crystals. It's going to end up imbalanced. We can fix that later when it takes the last of the crystals and drops them off. And then we need to do the same thing for these three. Uh, drop off over here. Wait till empty. Pick up 
over here. Wait for inactivity and greater than zero uh, plates. Two to go. MSCM beam. Empty. Pick up. Inactive item. I did set all of those to and, not or, right? Guess I'm gonna have to double check. This one is correct. This one is correct. And plate. Uh, why can't I find plate? Because it because it's attached to this station. Cool, cool, cool. That one's correct. Uh, I haven't updated the station names over here yet. It's easier if we save that for last. Otherwise we've got duplicate station names. Or I have to rename these old ones. Cool. That should get all the old stuff drained out of... Or all the stuff drained out of the old system. I need to put filters here. Crystal at the top. Uh, plate of the Immersium, uh, and then gear, and beam. Copy, paste, flip. And as long as we never pick these things up with short trains, we won't need to do any automatic rebalancing shenanigans. Stress almost 6,500, damn. How much research does it take? 2 million to go plus 500 from where we are, which is 4,000. So 4,500, the last bit of research costs 2 million. Uh, wait, what? Oh, this one costs 2 million. Factory Spaceship 12. Okay, so the one we're on is only 32k, holy crap. So this is for 4.5k, 32,000. 64k to get to 5,000. 128k to get to 5.5, and then 256k to get to 6,000. And I think it just keeps doubling, right? Yeah, it does. So well over a million signs in total uh, to get to 6,500 whole stress. Go for it, I'm at level 11. Maybe someday. How are we doing? Still cruising? Cruising for a bruising, perhaps? Maybe not. Uh, I think we're halfway there. Almost. Almost halfway. Nine minutes remaining. Cool, cool, cool. Very nice. If we add Spidertrons, is it hull stress or container stress? I was thinking for a second that you could cheese it with laser turret Spidertrons, but personal lasers consume way too much energy in K2. When I finish... Minin mining prod. Oh, right. When I finish mining prod 90, I'll do one more level of factory spaceship. Oh my goodness. Those rocks are scary, but it looks like they never come in pairs. Or at least never right on top of each other in pe Oh, oh god. That's spooky. 
it actually feels miraculous that we haven't been hit yet. Gulp. That, yeah, that... That's actually giving me a little bit of anxiety. Watching the shields. Uh, Let's solve our problems by ignoring them. Okay. Are we just about done draining out? Not even close. Not even Vita research data from the old build is emptied out. I might have to take extra steps in this case. Uh, I did want to redesign all of these blocks making imasite things. And I was trying to figure out a few streams ago how much of it we could reasonably squeeze together in one block. Uh, but I think the stream ended or something. I got a bit distracted or it was super tricky or who knows what. Do we still have those preliminary design ideas lying around? Not that I can see. Did we actually build it and I forgot about it? Surely not. Because I would have marked the old ones as high priority pickup not to be dropped off um, marked them with an X and so on. Alright, let's have a look. So we need crushed imosite powder first, right? What happened with the end of yesterday's stream? Uh, power went out for the neighborhood. So not much I could do about that. Sorry. Pulverizer. Uh, I believe crushed imosite is the first step. Yeah, what happened to... What happened to all the designing I was doing, trying to figure out how these fit together? It's weird. Second Lich, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, so crushed imosite. Uh, what? Crushed imosite. It's probably called something else under the hood. Uh, goes into immersium sulfide and nothing else. So we need a chemical plant. And immersium sulfide. Okay, so we've got byproduct sand. One solid input, one fluid input so far. Um, and what kind of ratio do these have? Can we prod both of them? Nope, so probably only need one machine to keep up with however many of these. We can actually start using uh, tier 9 modules as well. We've taken some back to the mall, that means something reached 50. We have 109 speed 9s. Wow. 13 prod 9s, 41 efficiency 9s. We're definitely going to have to add some stuff to... to decide what we're sending back to the mall. To decide, like, 
how much we're making here. I won't worry about it just yet, though. Maybe I should. It looks like we're just going to make way more speed modules than other things. Which, to be fair, we will need more of to start with. But we have to put a limit somewhere to balance these out. Maybe I could... Literally just... This wouldn't balance it based on what's in the mall, but I could just say, like... Don't output speed nines if they're greater than or equal to prod nines. Don't output prod nines if they're greater than or equal to efficiency nines. Uh, and just do it in a circle. Probably greater than as opposed to equal. Yeah. Anyway, um, back to back to the build. So I'm pretty sure this is way faster than necessary. Also, we don't need this. We finished that yesterday. I was watching the vod and it suddenly ended. Yeah. Hurry up. There we go. Maybe I should make a decon planner that blacklists signals for when I swap this out. Um, and we want to put it under a wide beacon too, with loads of speed, and however many efficiencies it takes. To put this... Uh, minus 80. And this one's probably way faster than it needs to be. It is. That's still only 306 sulfide per second. I don't think it needs to be very fast, though. Immersium sulfide. Like, how fast is this? 180 per second, and that's always been way more than we need. So anyway, if we don't put speeds in this at all, uh, it still eats all of the crushed. Wow. It eats 100 per second? And this does not quite 20. It would take 5 machines for 99%. Something to consider, but for now I just want to figure out the shape of uh, different recipes here. So this goes into, if I recall, two recipes. Uh, fine imosite powder and imosite crystal. Fine imosite powder. Uh, and what was Imosite Crystal made in? Chemical plants. Okay. So, so far it looks kind of like this. Uh, and that's the second fluid input that we need. And I think we just vent the uh, nitrogen, right? And if I recall, that was super easy to keep up with. With a single flare stack under the beacon without modules. We cannot prod this. How much does this eat? 96 per second. So we could pretty easily, I think, that's a lot of power. Uh, we could pretty easily eat all of the sulfide, or drink it, 147 per second, 200. Not quite. With just one machine. Uh, what about on this side, though? 
we can prod this. What's the ratio like for the powder? Very positive. I think there's one more recipe. Or two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember. Gear wheel, beam, and immersion plate. I think you can use powder directly. Uh, and it's more efficient. Shack cat, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Rare metals and fine imosite powder. Makes more immersion beam for the imosite. Uh than just the direct recipe. And I think it's the same for plate as well. But the other ones, you can just turn plate into them directly. If you want to keep it simple. But we want to reduce the number of spaceship trips. That's our real currency. Um, and yeah, making imosite plate, 8 rare metals, 32 powder, uh, versus, oh, that's the only way to do it. Good talk. Okay, so that happens also in an advanced furnace. Uh, and the others are advanced assembly machines, I believe. Yeah. Advanced assembly machines. Yeah. Beam. And. No, I don't want those recipes. Uh, I think it's under smelting, crafting. There we go. Also. There's an advanced recipe or two for gear wheels under the advanced assembly machines. Iron ore goes directly in to make gears. Iron plate and coke make steel gear wheel. Honestly, iron is so plentiful I can't be bothered doing the math on whether these save us resources. They might be faster or something, though. Whatever. Stay focused on what we're... What's in front of us. Okay. So these all need rare metals and powder. Um, and this bits out sulfur as a byproduct. So does this. So where do we draw the line for our rail blocks? Is the question. Immersium plate last 50 hours is 258 per minute. Uh, if we double or quadruple that, it should be way more than we need for the playthrough. And... Rod modules. Per minute, 960. Yeah, we can probably get away with just one machine for this. Um, and I imagine the same applies to our gear wheels. 1.48k per minute, 247 per minute. Fifty hours. 158 per minute, 24.7 per minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so just one machine for those each should be able to manage for the whole playthrough. Um, assuming that we're keeping up with the powder. How much is this? 8.8k per minute, or 147 per second, which is not consumed by this. That's pretty promising. Uh, what about 11 powder per second here? So all of this is still positive on fine imosite powder. Uh, is that everything that consumes it directly? Don't care about pollution filters. Anti-creep virus capsule. Uh, we did make a few of those. I don't know if we'll ever bother again. 
I don't know if it's worth exporting to the rail network. And advanced fuel, which we're not using. Good morning, Slenderman. Welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Yeah, I think uh, we might even make all of this in one little block, maybe. I could always make the powder available for export, just in case. Uh, so how many inputs are we looking at here? One for solids, one, uh, two, three. Is that it? Three. Raw imosite, silicon, rare metals. Okay. Just going to make kind of a note of a, that over here. And for fluid input, we need sulfuric acid, uh, nitric acid, and I think that's it. And for byproducts, we've got sand and uh, sulfur. And what about our actual outputs, our desired outputs? Maybe powder. One, two, three, four, five. Hi. Hi, Gazanik. Thank you very much for the 13 months of Prime. Very much appreciated. Thank you. And welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. One, two, three, four, five, six solids maximum for output. Hmm. Oh, and what about the actual ratios? Because we would need five of these to keep up with one of these. Do we actually need that much fluid? Uh, theoretically? I, I wouldn't mind... Oh, I can put like one speed module here. I guess. So that's positive on immersium sulfide. What if this was like a speed six? That's still significantly positive. Plus 4.8. Do I need like a speed one? I, I just want to like do a lazy right, uh, rate calc here. No, I dropped it. Minus 0.5. Okay, close enough. Um, so we need approximately like 103 crushed imosite per second. Which very much just barely puts it into wanting six pulverizers. If we want to be able to keep doing this continuously. Which I doubt is necessary. Very much doubt. Uh, we only need 52 rare metals per second. Not much. What are all of our inputs like? Not even half a stack. Oh, wait, no. We need like six of these. Or oh, five and a bit. Let's just do five. Uh, we need like two and a bit stacks of raw imosite per second. That's not that big of a deal. Only 276 nitric acid, 20 sulfuric acid, half a stack of rare metals, a little bit of silicon, like a f less than a fifth of a stack. Yeah, that all seems fine. So now the question is how we fit this together.
ideally in one block. What if we put in the train stops and try and work backward from our conclusion? I guess I'll put plate here. Now, I kind of want the most common output to be here. We only need, like, one of these. These all eat powder directly, right? So ideally, I want to put all of these together. How much crystal is this? 15.8 per second, or 9.50 per minute. I didn't actually check. Did we get there? We got there. Crystal Collective is confirmed. Back to Hagen Orbit. What do you guys think? Should we declare the prediction as yes? Or should we make it back to Hagen Orbit before we say that this thing is safe? Probably safe. Why is... Donating so hard if you haven't got a credit card? I don't know. Welcome in, Majagas. I think I said that earlier today. Welcome in anyway. Um, I'm thinking of, like, maybe something a little bit like, a, a little bit like how tech cards, where they all sort of have their own little build, but they do some direct belting and stuff. But then... Okay, we've got one, two, three, four things that this needs to be linked to. That doesn't really work. Not in cardinal directions only, anyway. How am I going to fit five of these at the input? I don't think we're going to be able to do it with direct insertion. We don't have to. Oh, and... It's probably a bit much to cram this all under one beacon. But it's good enough, considering the different speeds of the machines and stuff. Five, you say? No, it was six, wasn't it? Five was just barely short of being able to go full speed with this, which is honestly probably fine. We gotta have bottlenecks somewhere. And we've calculated that all of this is probably way faster than we need. Still. I mean, six would let us be symmetrical anyway. How about we start over here somewhere? Maybe I could put the beacon on the other side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Input isn't that fast. It's 22 per second per machine. We should probably use loaders, I guess. And I could probably... Give it the smallest footprint by doing something like this. Um, just like that. And then for the output, 
We'll probably do sand over here. Because sand isn't going anywhere else, right? Or coming from anywhere else. How much sand is this? 118 per second. More than a purple belt. That's kind of fast. Why don't we use a splitter then? And this goes directly into advanced chemical plant and nothing else. So I'd probably like to just put it over here or something. I'm sure I remember building this. Did we not, like, blueprint it? I know I probably didn't finish what we were doing, but I would have thought we left it lying around in the editor somewhere. Whatever. Let's just do it. Uh, so I guess this could go here. This could go here. Uh, it needs to be filtered for crushed emesite. And... Give this a bit more room. I guess we could do it like this. going to look a little weird coming from the corners. Mostly just because of the perspective that looks like there's something here, but there's nothing here. Hmm. I guess I could, like, merge it here. How much input is this? Less than two belts. Yeah, we could just, like, do it like this. That seems fine. Make sure it's filtered. looks pretty tidy. Can we do the same thing uh, more or less with sand? going to end up with three belts. How about... Well, the sand throughput isn't that high, right? They're actually the same. But on each side, we're looking at like 39. Yeah, less than... Less than one purple belt for each side. So what if... That's not going to line up. Not on both sides. Mm. I don't really want to do a series of splitters here. Is, is the thing. How about like this? doesn't really work out. This is running into the exact problem of I don't want to use a bunch of splitters. Hmm. 
Because hmm. we're trying to merge three into one. And it's going to be imbalanced. I mean, I could always shove it into a box, but... I'm trying to be a little bit tidier than that. I think we're just going to need more splitters. Sad. How do I make it neat? You want to merge three into two, not one? Yeah, well, it's three into one on each side. It's six into two. Damsel. Tyranno fantastic, Tyranno fantastic. Thank you so much for the 12 months of Prime. Very much appreciated. Thank you. And welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Hope you're getting a good sleep. Um 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 Bruh. There's no way to do this neatly, is there? Six into two. I don't think there is. No, these don't need to touch each other. We can, like... Oops. Put this, like, here. Just freaking merge it. See if I care. A whole year? Just let the puppos out. Back to sleep soon, TM. I see, I see. Back to sleep... Back to sleep soon, TM, like if I wake up at four or six. Ah, oh, what a mess. How about... What if we put these over here? And that goes in there. And I don't think we can kind of do an equivalent on the other side. Not as neatly, anyway. Because this is in the way, and then that doesn't line up. Wait, no. Yeah, we can. What am I saying? What am I talking about? Uh, and then this merges. Like, over here? That looks a little... uneven, but... I, I guess... could do worse. That's not too bad. Okay. Step one and two complete. Uh, then we need only one of these, only one of these. And was it only one of these? 950 emosite crystal per minute. Did we crash? Last 50 hours. 615 per minute. We might actually need more than one machine. No way. Are we already back at Hagen Orbit? Holy speedy ship. Wait, why are we not... No, we crashed. Where did we crash? Oh, we didn't get out of the... That's a bit anticlimactic. We didn't quite make it out of the asteroid field again. Bruh. Do I have repair packs? Yeah, we, yeah, we do. Alright, well, I guess that's the... 
that's the doubter's win on the prediction. Only because I decided to be a little bit more thorough. If we'd stopped at Crystal Collective, it would have looked pretty good. But we've learned the hard way that you need a bigger sample size. I found good-sized potatoes yesterday. And then lost half a one, right? Um, prediction? Choose outcome? Sadly, no. Uh, could we actually squeeze in, like, just a little bit more defenses? And that would be enough? I doubt it. I think we'd probably have to, like, make the nose go further up here. To squeeze in more shielding? But I don't think this shield would protect us if the wall was up here. Not from big rocks. So I'm not sure what the answer is. Uh, or rather, I'm not sure that there is a good answer. Um that doesn't require more of an overhaul of this ship. Yeah, shush. The cooker roach stole it. Alright, um... How fast is this again? Way faster than it needs to be. I think we should make, like, two... two machines for... Immersite Crystal. Deansies, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And I think we probably could squeeze all of this under one beacon. It's going to be a little bit chaotic, but maybe that's okay. Is that one tile over here? Nope, that's that's enough. Uh, yeah, we don't actually need the Immersite plate for anything but the rail network. Cool, cool, cool. Can we put that over here? And flare stack. Uh, I guess would have to be on this side. I'm pretty sure the flare stack can keep up very, very easily with the, uh... Uh, with the nitrogen. 22... 375 per second, and this can spit out 92. Okay, cool. So that's fine. We need silicon. We need rare metals. I think we'll drop those off on this side. And... I can't put this down one more tile. Uh, what are our outputs? Sand? I think, uh... For the sake of symmetry, we'll put the other solid byproduct over here. That'll be sulfur, which comes out of these ones and this one. How fast is sulfur here, potentially? 23 per second. That's not too bad, but then we may as well use the whole storage space if this is a byproduct. Oh, and we can... No, wait. Uh... I don't really want to have to move the lighted pylon substation. If I move this up one tile... Why don't we just do it like that? 
and then steel pipe over this way. Maybe like that. We need silicon and fine emesite powder. Fine emesite powder comes from here. Silicon's going to come from here. Um, if this is a couple of tiles apart... Actually, I kind of do want a storage for fluid. Because why not? We're net negative on fluid here, if everything's running, but realistically we're not having to go that way that fast continuously. So yeah, a storage makes tons of sense and it also just fits really cozily here. Um, and then one of the reasons I wanted to do that, I guess 50k is fine. Oh, or we could go a little over the top. Two hundred K. And we could have powder like so and silicon like so kind of like that symmetry there something a bit different from what we've been doing if we're only dropping off two solids up here and they're not that fast. We can let them all go into this container. Uh, it's sol silicon and rare metals, right? Rare metals. Or I could push the rare metal to the other side. So this is... There's only one solid output from this. Fine emesite powder. Could also use loaders here, just for the sake of consistency. Although that looks a little weird. That's better. Uh, and we need rare metals for these three. What's the neatest way to do that? It, it's only one belt, right? Way less than one belt. 52 per second. So we could just do kind of a... Kind of a roundabout pattern. Well, I guess we could use undergrounds. Somewhere where the undergrounds are not already taken. That's actually super convenient. Rare metals? What's this? Silicon? What? How do you spell silicon? Silicon. Not silicone. Uh, and that has an underground, and then we do the same thing, like, over here, and then just shove it in there. Wanitopanes, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. That'll do, close enough. All right, uh, so test inputs. Uh, 
We need silicon. We need sulfuric acid. Wait, no, that's the byproduct. Rare metals. Uh, set filters blacklist. So that's where these two get dropped off. How fast max speed silicon is pretty slow, and so is rare metals. Yeah, I, I think we can just request, like, a train load and a half of each and let them all flow into this container. That should be fine. There's our res. Uh, nitric acid. It's going to be dropped off. What's the other fluid we need? Sulfuric acid. Both are pretty slow, right? Like, really slow. Sulfuric acid is really slow. Nitric acid is pretty damn slow. And these are quite slow as well. So I'm not overly concerned at how quickly the trains can output. So it's probably fine if we just do this pattern. It doesn't need to go directly into a huge storage tank. Uh, we will probably get our... How you say... Vitalic acid? That's not it. Nitric acid. Over this way. And... That looks kind of weird. That's... Consistency's better. Uh... Alternatively, nitric acid could go this way. That's not really any neater, either way. I suppose... Uh, it doesn't matter. Alright, so that's sulfuric acid. And that's nitric acid. We'll put in our test inputs for those. Hello? Oh. I thought I missed that pipe. There we go. Uh, and then we're just missing raw imosite, and that may actually be the last step. I think we've probably got a step or two left, though. If only just the outputs of these. And the output for sulfur. Uh, where am I going to do that? How much sulfur does this spit out? Only 15.8 per second. Which other one spits out sulfur? I thought it was... Oh, it's this one. 8 per second. Okay. Um, so we need filtered outputs just for this one. How fast is this? 16 per second. Alright, in that case, I think... Just letting it accumulate to 1.4 train loads is probably fine. Nah. Let's make the most of our storage. We've got room. Making the ship more pointy might reduce the front shield vulnerability. It's not so much it's vulnerable, it's that we need like 50% more shielding for the edge cases of when there's like two big rocks really, really close to each other, I think. It's a bit of a fluke for when it does get through here. We need a lot more shielding for when that does happen.
All right, does that line up? I believe it does. I was going to put plating down here, but how can I say no to underground belting it directly over here? And then this one, probably something kind of similar. Not really, but yes. Let's just stick with our usual pattern for these insofar as we can. And we could probably do the exact same thing mirrored over here. Almost the exact same thing. I can live with that. I mean, we'll have to, considering the advanced furnace is 5x5. Five five. All under one beacon. Alright, so we still need to do the sulfur output. Which... Might be a little bit messy. It's all way less than half a belt, right? Yeah, it is. So I think we'll skip using uh, splitters for this one. Just not worry about it. I need a filter for sulfur. That should be fine. Even if it was all using the same half a belt, it wouldn't be a problem. So that's all of our I.O., right? I think. Probably. And even without tier 9 modules, uh, we should be able to put all of this into one little block. And instead of... 64, plus 24, plus 24, plus 28, plus 24, plus 30, whatever that adds up to. Uh, instead of all of those machines, we'll be able to have like 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And it should be enough for the entire playthrough. Cool, cool, cool. That seems pretty good to me. Just double check the ratios again. Um, I'm pretty sure that is actually positive on crushed. Slightly negative on Immocyte Sulfide if all of these are running, which is super overkill. Uh, 1.9k crystals per minute. Last 50 hours we've used 619 per minute. And we've got like similar comparisons for powder and these objects. Um, I was actually going to do an output for powder, just in case we want to make more of those Ida capsule thingies. We can very easily do it, and it'll kind of complete the block. So why not? Let's see if that does not line up. I could move this... Uh, I could move this over a little bit. And then this could have a symmetrical out. Yeah, I like that a lot. Wait, that's not powder. That's not the powder output. Okay, I'll put that back there. Uh, this only outputs power as powder as far as solids are concerned. And the neatest way to get this from here to here 
I think I'll actually just fuck the trend ever so slightly and do one of these. Uh, or not, because we don't actually have room. Oh, we're already outputting powder here. Why don't I just borrow that? Seems good. Cool, cool, cool. Now we just need to do the LTN chores. Already made those two active providers. Why is it connected up here? And that seems fine. Morning, Ian Noah. Good to see you again. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, welcome. Alright, it's a little, like, asymmetrical, obviously, but pretty damn efficient. I'm okay with this. Uh, so now we need to, what? We crashed again. We crashed again. I guess it's even less reliable than I thought. Um, why don't we speed limit instead of 327? We'll go like 200. Vario, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. What's our ETA to get home? Nine minutes? Less? About nine minutes. Hope that was just an internet slash power crash yesterday. Yeah, uh, the power went out for our neighborhood. So... Not a whole lot I could do about that. Although I should probably get my... should probably get the stream in Discord on my phone so I can at least make an announcement. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. We don't want to auto clamp when we get home if we're in the editor. That would be bad. We don't want to be teleported to Nalvis where all of our turrets are hostile. Um, alright, so this is sand. Uh, long trains only, I think. This is sulfur. This is fine imosite powder. Uh, gears, gear wheels, and don't need fluids for this one. And beam. Why is it stopped? No rare metals? Oh, we let this fill, fill up. I thought we set filters blacklisted this. Uh, oh, it kept putting it in here. Okay, sure. That makes sense. Delete everything. Oh, that'll be enough. Alright, 
So we are making, or rather, we are requesting raw emesite. Uh, pulver goes into pulverizer. And I'm not going to do hieroglyphics to describe the entire block. I'm just going to say outcomes crushed. Uh, and this is silicon, rare metals. Oh wait, we also need sulfuric acid here. And this one is silicon, rare metals. And uh, nitric acid. And I guess I'll say it's a little bit of a simplification, but I'll just say that's for making powder. Sulfuric acid. Uh, raw rare metals. Uh, raw emesite. Fifty hundred times at least two. Since it's the only resource being dropped off here, we'll make it three. And we want like 1.5 train loads of each of these. Silicon. And rare metals. Uh, 1.5 train loads. Don't we go through silicon way faster relative to the stack size? No. 17 per second. More than half of a stack of rare metals per second. Okay. And that's all the drop-offs done, actually. Yeah, I think, I think this is it. I think the blueprint is complete. Perfection. Oh, we need some some signals. Don't forget these. Did I put that in the right spot? Yes. And last but not least, northeast, northwest. All right, I think that's it. I think it's working. And look how many fewer modules that needs than our old build. The increased cost of the high tier modules is not going to sting as much as we first imagined. Alright, blueprint time. And it's going to be... Uh, let's see. Immersium plate. Where is it? Plate, gear... And bean. We're also exporting powder, but I don't really care. And I want the tier 9 prod in there to show that this is a final build. Tier 9 immersium. Or immersite. 
Imasium. 86251. Don't forget the tiles and train stop names. And now for the arduous task of clearing out the old stuff. This looks so slow now. Going at 200. Six minutes till we're back at Hagen. Alright. Um... Should we just... Even for the mall, that's going to take up a lot of space. Alright, first things first, stop requesting up here. And we'll see how long that takes to drain out. Quite a long time, I imagine. Uh, I guess we could put the new block right here, actually. I am more than okay with that. And we could even potentially direct belt some of the raw imasite. Yeah, that seems fine to me. Components. T9. Is that properly empty? I think it is. Fantastic. First, get, let's get our pretty floor. And grab our construction train. I'm sure it's going to need a couple of laps to do this. Uh, and we don't actually have the modules. I think we do have them upstairs, though. Only 13 prod 9s. Okay. What are we missing? Not the bottleneck I was expecting. Self-healing gel. It's not stuff that comes from downstairs. Self-healing gel. Where do we make that? It... Oh, here it is. We're missing Vitalik Reagent. Okay, it is something that comes from downstairs. It is looking oddly cramped. Because I have it switched off, that's why. Alright, well this should get... I think the train will get stuck here for a little bit, but this should get consumed pretty quickly. It can go through 5 per second, that's like 10 seconds for a stack, and there's almost, uh, kinda not really room for a train load here. Maybe biggest thing was making two parallel ribbon worlds. So two teams can compete to see who gets to the end first. That's cool. Team-based speedrunning sounds exciting and stressful. Although, I kind of like the idea that it would, cut out, it, it would cut out people just, like, making one significant mistake and just starting over, over and over again. See how fast they can go with some consistency. Is it greater than 100k wall-to-wall -wall biters? Wait, what? Oh, for the ribbon stuff? When do we get back? Three, almost four minutes game time. I do kind of want to manually move around some of these plates and things. Um, and probably... Probably shove them in here. Before we decon all this old stuff and wait for it to drain out and stuff. Not in that order, obviously. 
Okay, so this is emesite plate, emesite gear wheel, emesite beam, emesite powder. Uh, and we're not going to bother to put tags for the byproducts, uh, so we know what this is. Next, I think we will listen to this uh, question mark tag over here, begging, please upgrade me. Since it's right next door, we could probably directly pump the nitric acid over as well. Mr. Dane, thank you for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, raiders. How's your stream today? Factorio, fantastic. Good morning. Mortem Manor. Going to bed, dead tired, fair enough. That is usually where I'm at at the end of stream. That and there are people waiting to talk to me. Alright, take care Mr. Dane, have a good one. Um, that's right, we were trying to get the prods made again, and as predicted, this train is stuck here for a little while, but it's only the one resource. There's like three solids input, right? We've got way too much of two of them, so it should be able to sort itself out eventually. It actually uses four crinite rods. Oh, it's one to two. Makes two self-healing gel. Wait. Okay, first of all, how dare you. I, I want these two to swing at the same time. If it's outputting two per recipe. That's better. How fast is this? Only 2.88 per second. Uh, that eats not very quickly. Oh, it's got, it's on like tier 3 modules as well. Let's uh, speed this up a bit. Top tier compact beacon is cheap at this point. Uh, and more to the point, how fast are we eating through the gel? 48 per second, almost 49. Yeah, we're never keeping up with that, but I would like to uh, be able to supply it more often. Is that perfectly balanced as all things should be? It's not, but it'll work itself out. Okay, just about done loading. What's this? K2 on a day where I'm not on holiday is a true rarity? Uh, I suppose so. Welcome in Lord Sari, good to see you again. Go in the end time for you crafting. I don't understand. Cool ship, thank you. Okay. Uh, let's go bring our construction train over here. And we should be back soon. 1 minute 25. It's not that soon. Um, okay. Okay. Uh, I don't really want to do it this way, but until I think of something better, I guess we're going to transmit what we've got over here. Really, it's only three things that I want to transmit. I don't think this is big enough. No, it's not. A little bigger. 
um, and we just want to kind of balance which modules we're sending into the mall, or just limit them. Yeah, limit them is fine. Um... I guess I'll just do a lazy little filter here. Alright, so we're looking for speed nines. Output input count. Why did I use a decider here? Whatever. Uh, and then same thing for rub nines. Efficiency nines, and then probably don't even need those actually. Why are the bots not finished? How how do you have room? How do you have the range to build this but not this? What? Okay, fine. We'll come back to that. Now, we need modules. That should be pretty decent. Uh, so now we're at 11.6 per second. And the inserters actually can't keep up now. Okay. Is that actually... That should be right the ratio. Right, cool. Back to the mall with you. And we're already getting a lot more empty space here. Cool, cool, cool. Um, we need a receiver. Should probably have put it over here. And I need to say... 6,000? Oh, those are the inputs. Right. Um, yeah, we can just run this through a constant combinator. Oops. This reads the local network. Is it okay if I borrow this green wire for this? We're getting positive amounts of everything that's here. Uh, minus everything that's supposed to be in this rail block. Yeah, yeah, that should be fine. Is this bot coming? No, I don't think it is. In that case... Yeah, we'll just run a green wire from here to here to here. Uh, and we'll do... Oh. That should have been... Yeah, I should have done arithmetics here. Times negative one. Subtract what we've already got. Actually, come to think of it, if I do each times negative one? No, that would mean that we'd be like saying we'd be removing the get stuff out of here filter or like everything that's in the mall. Okay. Uh, speed nine. Rod nine. And E nine. Subtract what we've got. Uh, what are we going to call this? Modules to mole. So we've got a negative of what we've actually got in the mole. And if we put positives here. So if we've got, like, 
a hundred speed nines in the mall. And we want 200. And we put 200 here. It's going to subtract 100. And this is going to be positive. And this is going to set requests. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, you can already see it's asking for 91 more. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, and we could obviously um, get a bit more complicated here. And like balance them out, or we could just do that here. Yeah, if we balance them here, and if we only request them this way to go back to the mall uh, up to a certain amount, that should be fine. So I could just say. If speed is less than prod, or well, less than or equal, if prod is less than or equal to efficiency, and if efficiency is less than or equal to speed, then output it. Uh, and currently we don't have any in the robot network because they're all in here. And this is fine as far as I'm concerned. So basically we'll have to bump up against the limit for what we're asking for in the mall before it starts balancing over here. Hmm. I guess that's okay. Are we making a decent amount of Mod 9s now? Well, it's a start. We have... Uh, 109 Speed 9s, 41 Efficiency 9s, and only 13 Prod 9s. But the Prod stopped because we weren't making self-sealing gel. Uh, self-healing gel? Self-sealing gel. Um, because it was super slow. Oh, it was actually stopped because I'd switched this off because we accidentally sent way too much stuff over here once. Are the old modules being used to make the module nights? Yes. There we go. So we've got... We actually updated the module build downstairs as well. So this is the entire thing. Uh, apart from these prereqs here, it's just one machine for each module type. Uh, currently on tier 6 modules, which is, you know, pretty easy to go faster than our material inputs, uh, for the most part. Uh, and then we're listening to upstairs on the red wire here. Upstairs is telling us, uh, here it is, it's telling us how many speed 8s, prod 7s, and efficiency 6s are in the input over here. Um, and that right there is just so that there isn't a null signal. There's our gel. Uh, and then we've got... Subtract that. Uh, and then we've got a constant combinator, just like we just did or how many we want to have upstairs, potentially. Uh, and then we're doing a set filters whitelist um, so that we put the different modules. That's actually quite a lot. Uh, so that we're putting the different modules in the train here. Uh, and then we've got like, if we're down to less than 50 of any one of these modules upstairs, uh, that'll trigger train delivery. Uh, if, as long as we've got at least 50 of something in this train at a minimum, I could easily change this to be a bigger number, but that's probably fine because we don't want the train leaving with like one module in it if things are slow, but yeah, um, reading from the train stop, the train contents, 
if anything is greater than 50, output check signal, yes. We do have 50 of something in the cargo wagon. Uh, if there's less than 50 of any one of these upstairs, output locomotive. Uh, if both of those conditions are true, and it's been five minutes at least, then we go upstairs. Uh, and this one's a locomotive just because it's super convenient to fuel it this way. And it's not it's not going anywhere very often. Uh, it's, it's very low throughput, this train, so we're just borrowing the solid fuel. So freeing up several hundred lower prodded machines will help prod nine. Uh, yeah, we're not actually, I mean, we don't have that many, like, tier 3 modules left, I guess. There's 2.5k over here, I could go dump them over this way. Um, but yeah, we don't, uh, we haven't, like, fully automated reclaiming the old modules, but there aren't that many of them. I, I could literally just, like... For example, where's that train? I could just, as a one-off... Grab prod threes. Speed threes. E threes. Shove them in the train. And just drop them over here. And I shouldn't have, honestly, I really shouldn't have removed the, like, I, I right-clicked all the direct inserts from the requests for all of these. I guess it makes sense for these ones that need to go to the train network. But yeah, we could just, like, set some requests over here, dump the train over here. That'll sort itself out. Then again... Probably gonna fill the purple chests, is what I'm realizing. How much is here? Uh, a lot, right? 4k, 2.4k, and only 394. Hmm. Well, let's see what we can get away with. We just grab this train, which is still getting filled up. I guess that's not that surprising, I only requested 50 at a time. Uh, create a temp stop over here, wait till empty, go back to the mall. And that should get sorted out with relative ease. As long as we don't block other resources coming in. Should be fine. It's looking a bit saturated though. No Holmium plate. Really? Vitamelange is looking a bit slow as well. Uh-oh. Wait, it's actually lithium chloride? No, that's just this one stop. But the fact that it's not on its way right now is a little bit concerning. Where are you going with that? Over to lithium. Do we need to upgrade this? Oh, it's got tier 3 modules. So, yes. It's got tier 3 prods and tier 6s for these old things. Uh, Akuragaso, thank you for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome in, raiders. Hope you had a lovely stream today. 
but yeah, do we need to speed this up? Okay, the fact that it's not super saturated means probably yes. Thank you, Veldak. Yeah, I think we've probably, like, massively uh, increased our demand for this stuff. I think, judging by the purple belts and everything and pumps, we probably built this for tier 9 modules. Uh, let's grab the construction train. And we should probably, like, duplicate this on the on the other side as well, maybe. Inputs aren't suffering, so... Okay, yeah, I'm sure based on these belts and how empty the belts are, we definitely built this for, like, tier 9 modules. Is this plus 200? No, we need to fix this as well. Um, why do I not have wide area beacon on my module inserter? Oh, because we're being because we're used to wide area beacon twos now. Here we go. That'll be a bit of a speed boost. Uh, chloride. Production. Line go up. What are we on now? 22k per minute? Last hour, 14k per minute. Seems good. Alright, based on the fact that this wasn't, like, below one train load by the time we checked on it, uh, I'm guessing that'll be more than enough of an upgrade for the moment. And probably just putting tier 9s in here is enough for the whole playthrough. Probably. What's your problem? Lithium chloride still. Okay, yeah. I saw a couple of these machines were still running. You are not pumping enough mineral water from tanks? Uh, I think we probably are, actually. Because there's a pump here, 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 here. There's like... Three pieces of pipe between each pump. They're capable of... I don't know how much, actually. Um, but they're capable of going very fast. Okay, there's four pieces of pipe between this pump and and this one here. But yeah, that's fine. On the left side? Huh. Oh, let me guess. This is like skewed. No? Not really? That's so weird. You're joking. Also, what the heck is this? Uh, I mean... Two, four, six, eight. We're, we're asking for enough mineral water to keep this mostly full, which would help with the pumping speed. I don't understand why it's doing so much better on the right side. That is very odd. Factorio fluid mechanics. All of the sense making. Can we do better for mineral water? Like, I'm pretty sure... It seems like we're struggling a bit for mineral water. We've got one uh, planet supplying it. But we are able to convert... Uh, 
convert matter into mineral water. I've noticed we've been doing that a lot. Vectorio fluid logic, right? Right side is always strong. Maxine, welcome in. Uh, Kiko? Seeker? Um, but yeah, I wonder... Let's see, we've got 46k mineral water core frags, which means we're pretty much always keeping this empty. Uh, we've only got nine, I think it's nine, uh, drills though. Yeah, nine drills. It's a, I, I guess we could start scanning this again and think about expanding. I think we kind of have to. Mineral, I don't really want to make another, uh, oops. I don't really want to make another mineral water core fragment outpost. Um, I'm not sure what our options are either. Oops. Where are we? Moons and planets. Uh, mineral water. No, how do I search this? Here we go. There's only a handful in the entire game. Uh, sort by Delta V isn't really going to do it. Let's see. We've got one that's closer than Phonestra that we haven't touched. 1.7k radius Midas. It's not that close, though. Um, why can I not see Sage here? Oh, because I didn't include planets. Good talk. Yeah, here's Sage. It's only 6.2k units away from Hagen Orbit. Uh, Karura? Is marked as negative 1 because we picked up the... Uh, uh, the module that was in the pyramid. That's why. But I don't think it is really... No, it's in Hankerus. It's not... I mean, it's not the worst candidate because it's close to the interstellar map, but we can probably do better if we're gonna... if we're gonna do another outpost. Um... But we're looking for closer than going via Phoenestra. Styx is rather small. Not a fan of that. Midas is... I think it's going to be Morpheus, actually. Morpheus is a little bit further away. But much better radius. I mean, it's barely closer than going somewhere via Phoenestra, but Midas isn't that much closer. It's like a, th it's, it's like two thousand. Then again, our main currency is spaceship trips, right? So maybe we should do Midas. What's our radius here? Four point two k. Really, we should just keep adding drills to Sage. I think we only have nine drills there. We're not. Uh, we're not deep into diminishing returns yet. The only downside of expanding on Sage is because of core seams, uh, we're going to have to cover more area per drill, uh, which is just going to make the save file bigger and saving slower. It doesn't really affect UPS very much. Um, I'm pretty sure it's quite negligible, just exploring area. So yeah, I guess we'll let the scan run for a while. We'll come back here and it's going to take an awful lot of landfill uh, again, but we're going to have to add some more drills, I think. Mineral water is one of those resources that for the longest time we had no trouble whatsoever keeping up with, but now 
the tables are turning. Uh, and yeah. I, I'm pretty sure... Like, every time I've looked at matter for the longest time, it's just been churning out mineral water and nothing else. So yeah, we should probably do something about that. Okay. Did we... Oh, that's right. I wanted to personally move around some of those items, didn't I? Get the emesite into the new build. Can you put modules in the core drills? Nope. None whatsoever. I kind of like that about them. It means you never have to stress about it, you know? Never have to go out of your way. Alright, let's borrow this train as a taxi. And we'll head down here. Wait till I get out and go back to the mall, please. Um, but yeah, core mining drills, the only thing that affects their speed. Okay, there's two things, actually. Uh, first of all, the more core mining drills you have on a planet, uh, the slower the individual drills get. Uh, so you need... Uh, X squared to add the equivalent number of drills over and over again. Like, you need uh, 1 to the power of 2, so 1 drill, for the equivalent of 1 drill. 2 to the power of 2, 4 drills, uh, to get the equivalent of the first drill times 2. 9 drills for 3, uh, 16 drills for 4, and so on. So around you know, somewhere in the 20s or 30s, you might want to stop, uh, depending on depending on your needs and so on. Did we... Oh, I forgot to get the modules. Speaking of which, this one's rather full. Um, they haven't even gone through all those fraud and efficiency modules yet. Uh, we've got room here. Oh, and we do have more speed threes. Not that many. How much is this? A bit. Uh, I kind of wish I hadn't filled this up right now. Okay, no, I really don't need to go upstairs right now just to get tier 9 modules. This is this is hardly our highest priority for tier 9 modules. This new build over here. Uh, let's just put in tier 6s. What do you mean, nope? Are you disapproving of my not cramming tier 9 modules in the first thing that we're upgrading? Is that how it is? Tier 9 for the win? Yeah, but we need to prioritize, right? We've only got... Uh, 13 prod 9s so far. Well, I I'm sure there's more over here by now. 28 more on the way. Prioritization is fine. Prioritize how? Um, the Okay, so for example, we're struggling with... Uh, mineral water at the moment, right? So we might want to put prod nines in mineral water core processing so that a spaceship full of mineral water core fragments is, turns into more mineral water. Whereas with emesite, we're really not struggling at all. Not even a little bit. Uh, it's one of the easiest to keep up with. What was I going to put in here? Prod modules. Why do we not have... Oh, there we go. Prod module. That doesn't take prod modules, you absolute goof. And neither does this. Alright, I'm sure that's way more speed modules than we need, though. Uh, it's not that many more. 
Plus 31. Wait. We need like one speed module for this to be able to eat. Wait, no, I, I was thinking about it backwards. No, it already just barely eats everything that comes out of this. It's actually kind of perfect. Um, so I think we're good for all of these. And I wanted to grab stuff from the old builds. Just make some room first. That'll do. Wait, I didn't ditch my rocket fuel, did I? I did. Okay. Fine, emesite powder is going to take its sweet time running out. Uh, I already disabled this one, right? Yes. Cool, cool, cool. And... Switch that off as well. Should have done this before. You know what? I think the scale of emptying this out with my own pockets compared to the inputs that are here is going to be a bit weak. So why don't we just... Well, I, I, I mean, I can still move... Oh, that storage is actually relatively small. Nice. That one, not so much. I think we deliberately unlimited this at one point because we were trying to consume Immersite to get it out of the way. Um, but yeah, we should just switch off all those inputs. Uh, crank up the prio on this. So it'll get drained first. Is that LTN? Yes, it is. I don't think we need this, though. We've moved it over to the new system. Oh my god. There we go. Uh, train limit. Gotta be careful with that. And high priority. That's already high priority. And this one as well, I suppose. I don't think we're ever going to drain the fine emesite powder. I'm pretty sure it's only going into... It was, it was going into these. And the only other build that consumes it, which we were doing kind of semi-automatically, was... Um, Anti-creep virus capsule. What materials are you producing with matter? Uh, all of the not-so-advanced materials. Um, anything that we don't have to spend Naquatite to swap. Because if you make uh, matter stabilizers as opposed to basic matter stabilizers, uh, it takes like Naquium Tesseracts or something. So you're paying Naquatite just to swap between, like, I don't know, uh, Vulcanite and Iridite, for example. Or basic resources to Iridite or something like that. Uh, Naquatite is the only resource that you can't get infinitely from core drills or something. Um, the, uh, the Naquium mines do last quite a long time. But you do need to keep refreshing them if you're going to play indefinitely. So that's the one resource I don't want to pay to convert items with matter. So we're only swapping... We're only doing all of the uh, swaps that require basic matter stabilizers, not the... Uh, not the not so basic matter stabilizers. Let's 
might take a couple of trips. Zaxon, fly by dancing, welcome in. Mineral water coal frags aren't the slower part, getting the ships back. Uh, yeah, the actual core frags themselves, like producing them, uh, it's actually pretty easy to saturate, like, com compared to the logistics of bringing the core fragments back. If you were to do the processing on planet, uh, which is going to make your outposts a lot more complex and messy, this is actually getting drained a lot faster than I thought it would. But then again, we did empty our pockets. Uh, then you can bring them back with much greater, like, stack density. Much much better resource density. I guess that'll have to do. Um, my bags are full. Can I, like... No. I guess I'll just shove this back in here for the moment. Uh, we also want to move... Gear was the one that didn't have anywhere near as much storage, right? That's what she said? I don't even know what she said. Okay. Uh, but yeah, we've actually got 50, believe it or not. Uh, 50 haulers like this. More of them if you count the Naquitite ones. Um, just the ones that are on the dynamic schedule. Uh, that responds based on how many core fragments we have or need uh, at the different outposts. We did calculate at one point uh, just how fast these are, like how many, on the average trip, what's their throughput of uh, core fragments, but I don't remember. Like, I don't even really remember the ballpark, to be honest. Gu Guerra, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. What mod are you using for the train loading stations, the warehouses on the tracks? It is called uh, Bulk Rail Loader. And that includes the unloaders as well. Oh, I already picked this up. Short term memory, what is that? Is this empty of oil? There's 10k left. Oh. We didn't tell LTN what's here. Or I broke it at some point. It's It seems very odd that there's only 10,000 crude oil there. Did we kill the input? I think we did. Yeah, we did. LTN like Skynet? LTN must know all? I mean, you can lie to LTN. Under certain circumstances, you might not want to just give it a signal of what you've got. It'll forgive you. Uh, that's probably enough for now. And what's this? Uh, beams. We definitely are going to have too many beams. Can't wait to deconstruct all this. Oh boy. You can and must trust friend computer. Indeed. Thanks, you're welcome. Welcome in. Um, it's only like a quarter full or something. 
We can at least get rid of most of it. I'm getting a little bit less optimistic as to how high our UPS is going to climb uh, when we're when we've simplified more of the base with higher tier modules. I think the spaceships are going to be the main cost to keep up with our targets. Uh, this goes here. That's pretty much full. I guess we may as well get the rest of it. Actually, wait, it's like less than a hundred stacks, right? Let's not pick up all of this. Something like that. Oop. Pardon me. Alright, so that's that done, and gears. Wait, gears go over here. Um... Wait, no they don't. Plate goes over here, what was I thinking? Well, obviously it looks like this goes over here. How much plate do we have? The answer is yes. Alright. At least it won't be as long for this to drain out so we can decon it and or take it all back to the mall and stuff our pockets. One, two, three, four, five, six blocks that we're going to get rid of. Or we'll reduce it to one. Wait, I could have been using my trash slots this whole time. Krasus, welcome in. How's it going? How's your lists of targets you want to achieve coming along? Uh, well... Honestly, it's hard to know how close we are with some of these things. Bec no, why did I do that? It's fine. It's fine. Uh, because it'll look like that we're able to keep up with one of those for a while, and then something will crash. And it's hard to get a feel for what it's going to look like when we do have full throughput. How fast is this again? That's like less than a tenth of what it needs to be for the end game. So I really do need to refactor the whole Arcosphere build. I think uh, most of these machines. Um, yeah, they're about one tenth of the speed that we're looking for for the end game build. We want three per second of whichever research. Or, like, theoretically, if there was a research that demanded every tech card and science pack simultaneously, we'd want to be able to do that continuously. That's our arbitrary goal. Uh, and we're close, but not so close, if that makes sense. Like, what the heck is going on here? I'm getting a little bit concerned. Where do we have a sand drop off? I remember there was a mistake that I made that botched a bunch of trains that filled them up with sand and put them, to, sent them to the wrong place a while ago. But I'm a little bit worried that somewhere or other we're somehow filling trains with sand and then they stay full and get assigned something for LTN. Um, 
I hope that's not a systemic problem. Is all I can say. I guess we could search for trains full of sand. On Hagen. That's a few. Are there any that are stuck? No, you're fine. Don't know where this one went. You're fine. This is fine. And this is fine. Okay, so probably... Probably not. It really is nice looking at a resource that we kind of take for granted now. That used to be so, so, so slow. And now it's just always saturated. Doesn't look like they are stuck. No, just that one was. But... I think I would have spotted it sooner if it was from a manual mistake. So, I don't know. Alright, we can probably switch all this on now. Uh, and we've prioritized the output and switched off the input for all of the old blocks. This one is already pretty empty. Huh. Wait, I'm confused. Oh, this basically only outputs the fluid. Yeah, no, that makes sense. Okay. So we should be able to decon this one now. Uh, I think we're done with the construction train for the moment. Seems good. Let's get the decon train. And park it about here for the moment. Actually, apart from the sand, this is all so empty that I could probably just take it back and carry all this stuff back in my pockets. I don't care about the immersium sulfide. It's not precious enough to... Well... I guess we could at least make a train try and pick up the last of this. Except that's only trying to be delivered to the new... to the old blocks. Uh, it's fine, we'll just delete this. Are you gonna get... filled up properly? And I might just turn off my RoboPort. Yep, you're good. And there's not that much sand left. Cool, cool, cool. Look at these old power lines. Get out of here. Whoops. Wrong boot on. And... Nice and clean. Like it was never here. Oh, speaking of... Accidentally picked up a bit too much rail here. You disconnected too many rails. Yes, indeed. Good catch, thank you. Uh... Why did we decon the... Oh, was that old power poles that were here? I guess so. Do we have more room in the train? Not really. Let's go empty it. Uh, I can pr probably pick up most of this in my pockets. Feels nice clearing out this old stuff. We've still got quite a lot of these things to update and get rid of.
Wait, we might want to... That's a lot. If it goes back to the mall... Uh, then it can find its way here. Sure. Might want to empty this mess though. I guess I could borrow this one. That's only a short train though. I could borrow an LTN train. LTN's looking rather busy right now. Wow. LTN's looking very busy right now. Alright. Uh, you please. Wait, no, you're busy. Um, you please. No, too, too late. I just want to borrow a train. You, no, too late. Okay, fine. I'll do what I was procrastinating. Empty this one. Yeah, my bags are a bit full for this. <sighs> and I need to get over there. Okay. Or I could borrow... No, the decon train is three... Margo Wagons. I guess that's fine. But... No, I guess that is fine, actually. I never thought to use the decon train this way before. Let's just park here. Uh, wait for inactive. And go back to the mall. Hi, I liked your layout of City blocks? Where can I find the blueprints for this? You can find them on the Discord. Right there. Mendelevi? Welcome in. Hope you're doing well. You're welcome. How much is here? Quite a lot. Let's grab another train. Uh, this one's almost empty. Hurry up. Much schnell bitte raus raus. Wunderbar. And... I'm sure it'll fill it up, but I'll just say inactivity just in case. Oh, it's very much going to fill it up. Can we borrow an LTN train? We might actually need more LTN trains at this point. No. No, I think the fact that this one's spending, like, actual seconds. Hmm. Yeah, I think, uh... I think LTN is a bit busy right now. We might even need more trains. I, I didn't really think... Wait, no, don't go back to the depot with that. Uh, I didn't really think we would ever need to add more trains from this point, but I guess that's, uh, that's how it is. Okay. We could maybe update Holmium solenoids. They do need sticks. This is a moderately updated build, but I don't think I built this for tier 9. But I, yeah, no, I... I don't know. I may have not built this for tier 9. It's at least not following my more modern philosophy of 
uh, doing builds like this when I can, or more to the point, this kind of thing. Although this still has the uh, vanilla train stops that we're no longer using, actually. Get out of here. We have updated so that we're not uh, not using vanilla train schedules for specific resources anymore. Um, but yeah, here's like a better example. Just three machines is all we're ever going to need for like steel beams and rails. Or perhaps one or three machines for each of these. Why did I switch this off? I think I was probably moving ye old steel gears and forgot to switch it back on. Probably. I don't know where it is. Steel gear wheel. Nope. We've definitely finished moving that, so we can let that run wild. Cool, cool, cool. I'm going to need a break soon. Uh, how much more is this? Quite a lot. Can we borrow another train or two? This one's still empty. How about another LTN train? Wait for inactive. And then dump it in the mall. Uh, two more trains should be enough. Alternatively, we could grab the decon train and have the bots pick stuff up. Not sure why they got so imbalanced, but it'll be fine. And away you go. Oh. Fantastic. And there goes the evidence of the old fine imasite powder build. Beautiful. Now what about Immersite crystals? I have a feeling they're going to take a while. Oh, did I not move these? Wait. What? Wait, wait a sec. You're joking. <laughs> I forgot to do an output for Immersite crystal on the new build. Um... Where should we squeeze it in? Probably like here, right? That's going to look a little bit tacky. But I'm not about to redo the whole thing. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. I guess we could put it like here. I kind of want... I can't quite put these next to each other if they're facing opposite directions. Yeah, yeah, I, I got it. I, I know. Bad streamer. And I kind of want the powder here and the crystal here now. Because the powder's the thing that we don't really expect to use much. Uh, can we 
signal this? We can. That's probably okay. Alright, well, this will stay here for the moment. And build. I don't have any bulk rail loaders. Construction train. Do a quick drive by. That should do it. Um, can we fit? I don't think I can signal this properly. If this lines up the way it does. It's a bit sketchy. Alright, fine. I'll, I'll just put this up here, I guess. And we could just make it line up with this. That should be fine. Except that this is blocking this one, but that's true anyway. Uh, now we want to... No, wait, come back. I still need the purple belt. Also, where the heck was that constant combinator that I just saw lying around? Oh, there it is. Uh, I guess we'll send the spider to pick that up. Okay, so I need to borrow some belt. What? And you can go. And then I think, because we really don't need that much imazite powder for export, uh, and this is just a nice, nice, neat little way of doing it. I think we'll just do it like this. Um, but we'll connect that once we're actually ready. For now... Well, I guess this belt is going to be different. Let's do that for the moment. That's wrong. Whatever. It's fine. It's fine. Just get it out of here. Even Distro would probably be a good idea. Actually, it might spill. Uh, no, it shouldn't spill. This is going to be a lot faster. Nothing bad will happen, I guarantee it. Okay, good. Thank goodness for that. Okay. Hundred percent safe. That is flowing. Yes, it is. Okay, cool. Uh, and I should probably just limit this to 50 stacks on either side in case we want to do short trains. And because we really just don't need that much. Tyrano Nuke. Tyrano Nuke. Gnome, thank you very much for the 15 months. Very much appreciated. Thank you. And welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Alright, so there's no hidden... Uh, insert is holding fine imazite powder. And this is supposed to be crystal. And bloody plastic. Alright. Now, if we're quite done having a fucking giggle, 
This is only 6.86. Oh, wait, that was the... That was the wrong thing. Uh, 13.7 per second. Why don't we just do it like this? It's a little mess. It, it's a little messy, but... So is whatever else we might do here. Then again, can't exactly... I guess we'll do it like this. Can I squeeze this down here? Sure, why not? Okay. Now is that getting where it's supposed to? Yes it is. Fantastic. Let's move the crystals that we do have already from the old build. Moody the seventh, welcome in. We get older and older every month. This is true. Uh, you know what? I could dump this sand that's in my pockets over here. Get out of here. Cannot return item back. Only spider trunk can be inserted into the slot. If you want to put something else here, the filter has to be changed. Oh, I think I must have... Yeah, I see. Alright then. Uh, let's go grab those... Gimmasite crystals. I realize my bags are a bit full for the moment though. That'll help. And not a minute was wasted on Factorio. I prefer to look at it as uh, the namesake of an old podcast about video games called A Life Well Wasted. Alright, where are we going? Over here? And over here. Give me what you got. That's actually more empty than I thought it was because we limited the front, um, the front container. If you enjoyed the time you wasted, then it wasn't a waste. Indeed, indeed. Hey. That's actually pretty empty already. Fantastic. And we're already out of silicon. So I guess we've got more powder to pick up. Not a huge amount, but, you know, a bit of a problem. Is that not a hundred stacks? Uh, it definitely is. There should be a train to pick this up as soon as, yep, there it goes. As soon as there's somewhere to put it. Cool, cool, cool. That's going to be so nice to have none of these builds still here. Alright, how much powder is this really? Uh, and why are my bots not? Because I don't have any bots. You absolute buffoon. That's a pretty good reason. Alright, decon train. Away we go. Um, I guess park about here. Wait for inactive. Park here again after one more lap. And... Just mark this whole block. 
for deconstruction. And it may or may not get done without further oversight. All depends on the capacity. There we go. Hello there. Awesome. Welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Factorio is very educational, actually. The progression and scaling is not dissimilar to software engineering. Uh... Yeah, I'd say so. I'm certainly not as experienced as some people, but I did study software engineering for a while. And of course I had my own little projects sometimes. But I couldn't really see myself doing it consistently. It, it's the kind of thing that I would get deeply into for a couple of weeks or a month or two and then just not want to do it at all. For a long time. Do we have signals here? Yeah, we do. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, are you stuck? Yes, you are. That means we're running out of this stuff. That's good. Still quite a bit of sulfur over here. Still not that much gear. Okay, how many gears are over here? We still have room? We do. Nice. Let's go. I just refilled my bags. Uh, fine. Fine. This is fine. Uh, gonna need the salt fuel though. Or I could just run. Oh yeah, I was going to fix this as well. Let LTN know what we've got here. There it goes. Let's speed this up a little bit. There we go. Is this a train load? Yes, it is. Fantastic. That'll get sorted out. Actually, make sure it's a long train. What about the sulfur? That should be fine. That'll mostly get emptied. This is taking a little longer than I th kind of thought it would, but... Not that much, to be honest. And now we're ready to pick up this. Should be able to just fit it in my own pockets. Since we basically... I forgot bots, didn't I? I guess we'll come back for that. How do you handle the space elevator? Uh, in what way? If you mean the fact that LTN doesn't send trains through it. Actually, I was going to say, I think there's a mod, there is a mod to do that for you, but I think they updated it so that LTN just handles it. And LTN, yeah. Uh, my latest version of managing sending stuff through the space elevator uh, from LTN to vanilla to LTN looks a bit like this. It's kind of a compromise between many different items uh, in one system and just having like more simplicity and higher throughput. So you could do like what, what we were doing previously was one train for every resource or at least one train for every resource. Um, and we would have something kind of equivalent to this on the opposite side. Train comes up the elevator, drops this off, it's based on train limits. 
uh, and then it's just available to LTN over here, right? Um, the Another thing you could do for, like, many items that don't need to be that fast uh, is have, like, a bot storage and loading system, but you've got to be really careful about um, putting the wrong items in the trains with that, and it's kind of slow a little bit. Uh, but what we've got now is just up to four different items. Um, so here we've got, we're transmitting downstairs what's in all of these containers. Uh, this little signal is just to make sure that we know where, that there isn't like a power outage from downstairs. Uh, and on the other end... Uh, where's that same example? I think it was this one. Uh, we just send that through the signal receiver. So this LTN stop kind of thinks that the stuff that's upstairs is what it's got, if that makes sense. Uh, and then we just set some requests. So LTN drops off here. It goes straight into a vanilla scheduled train uh, and that goes up the elevator wait at depot in case there's more than one what the f no we're, no we're fine actually don't scare me like that um yeah it uh it, it'll go up the elevator wait at depot in case this is not the only train with that schedule go to the drop off and then come back down and do the opposite. Uh, so with this we can do like... Well, it really just depends on the layout that you want to go with. Um, but you can do a number of different resources. Uh, attached to one train schedule. So we don't need four trains, uh, dedicated trains, to carry four different resources. All right, thanks, you're welcome. You mean to tell me that having everything made in China is a bad idea? Uh, I don't know. What the heck are we talking about? What, what does that have to do with... What? West dude, what are you on? What is this non sequitur? Oh, did I already move the gears? I think I did, yeah. Alright. Decon train is still busy. Damn. My head explode, indeed, indeed. Uh did the decon train finish what it was doing though? I can't remember where I just... where I left it, actually. That's a lot of crude oil that is not being picked up. We've got infinite crude oil now. I just want this... I just want this to be gone. He linked me an article about... Oh, okay, fair enough. Uh, I mean... I assume that was in the chat. I can only hope. Kind of. Anyway. Where is our decon train and is it ready to go? Mm, almost. Almost ready to go. I'm pretty overdue for a break and we've got like 90 minutes left for today uh so we'll do some words on stream in a sec not before i bring this train over here should be able to clear out everything in one go this time
Oops, no, that seems fine. Okay. Fantastic. Let's give it a save real quick. I see all that text in the screenshot. I'm going to know exactly where I was with this save. Okay, uh, we'll start words on stream in about 30 seconds. I'll be back in a few minutes. Good luck, have fun, and I'll see you soon.
Okay, how are we doing? Fantastic. Nicely done. And what should we do now? We've still got Imosite Plate. Uh, basically zero. Hasn't been requested yet. I guess we'll just wait for that to empty out a bit. Get, uh, there's a lot of beams here still. I guess we'll just shove those back into the mall. And gears at Dunsky. Fantastic. Don't know how we missed this. Alright. Mark all of these for deconstruction. Grab our decon train once more. Mark it around about here. And we'll start by removing everything except for the many, many, many beams. Okay, it can't be that many if this is not full. It's not too bad. Did we deke on this? Yes, we did. Fantastic. Uh, Alright. I guess we'll start emptying this out. And probably soon find that that's way too much. But uh, it's fine. Cool, cool, cool. We could probably just get rid of, like, all of these blocks as well. Simplify the rail network a little bit. Uh, this build could obviously be made a bit smaller. Though I guess it doesn't really matter. What should we work on right now? Where's our science bottleneck? I don't think science has moved all day. We're still waiting on Singularity Tech cards. I did see them in motion, but they're pretty slow. 0.277 per second. So 16.68 per minute is not a whole lot with a stack size of 200. So it really is about time we refactored this whole thing. This will probably be our first, uh, this will probably be one of our top priorities for high tier modules. What are we up to? 162, 41, and 41. Plus 32 speed modules. I mean, it's not like we expected tier 9 modules to be fast. But honestly, the pace is not that bad. Our bottleneck is now Vitalik Reagent. That is... We're back to these dark days. It's not like I expected to just be saturated on Vit Reagent until the end of time. But... It definitely stings a little bit to be back to bottlenecked on Venom Lounge. Uh, of course, I am assuming... Huh. Are we keeping up with the... Sulfur now? Looks like it. Where are you going with that? Making reagent. Okay. Do I need to... Increase the request for this stuff? 10,000, that's two train loads. One, two... So this is barely more than one. This is a bit more than one. 
Uh, I'm pretty sure I put some thought into this with the different rates of consumptions for these things versus how much space we've got here. This is almost two stacks per second of lithium chloride. We are requesting two whole train loads, so if we've got the stuff, it should make it here before it runs out. Didn't look like some of those lithium buildings were producing. Uh, yeah, it's a weird fluid thing. It's perfectly symmetrical. But for some reason, the pumps do get the mineral water here, but not here as fast. Um, but yeah, it's basically a mineral water shortage. Speaking of which, we were looking at Sage earlier today. Are you going back with mineral water? Yes. Uh, we've only got nine drills on Sage. We can probably do better. It's just going to be a bit of a pain. So we've got... Uh, if we add seven drills... That'll increase. It's 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, 36, and so on for the equivalent of the first drill multiplied. Um, so if we add, what, seven drills, then we're going to get one third more core fragments. There's a pretty straight line to this one. Uh, these are a bit of a pain. That one's not as bad. Almost all of these are in the ocean. I wonder if that's like typical of a mineral water core fragment world. Or if it's just kind of the luck of this seed. Anyway, uh, we should probably head over there and shift this bottleneck. Whoa! Do we have a landing pad? Oh no. Um... Maybe I should have clicked closest spaceship. Uh... Do we have, like, a... Uh, uh, oh no. I... I don't think we have any life support here, actually. I, I think I may have... I think I may have made a mistake. Uh, okay, let's, let's try at least. Construction ship. Go to... Nalvis Orbit. Go. Go, 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 go. What's your ETA? I don't think we're going to make it. Use the med pack. I don't think we're going to make it. How fast is this? Top speed is 200. Our ETA is like 2 minutes 30. It's going to be like 2 minutes or something. I think, I think we're going to die again. More than likely. A core fragments moved by trains or belts? Uh, belts, basically. Yeah, we stopped using trains for core fragments. We dropped this. We, we land the spaceships right next to the pulverizers uh, to make the. to do the core fragment processing. I'm pretty sure we don't have. Uh, what is it called? Capsule. We don't have a capsule here, do we? No. No, I think we're dead. I think... I don't think we're going to make it. Uh... Can't craft anything to survive? I don't think so. I'm pretty sure... Yeah, 
LDS RCU solar panel accumulator solid rocket fuel glass heat shielding. Uh, I don't think we have that many RCUs. We need a hundred. No, I'm I'm pretty sure this is it. I'm pretty sure. Wait, wait, wait. We got med packs. We got med packs. Fantastic. <laughs> Easy game. Hooray, indeed. Uh, where's our ship? Saved, right? Now I have to go back to Hagen and save my... Popsicle. Because it's got a lot of stuff I don't want to have to replace. But it's not the material to replace it, it's the trouble of... Like, redoing the power armor gear and stuff. Here we go. Yeah, I never thought uh, med packs would be relevant. Especially these med pack fours that we just found lying around somewhere, because I certainly have never bothered making them. Significant biomass, self sealing gel. And advanced neural gel and the pre rec uh, the previous tier as well. Um, biters are really not a threat by the time you can make this. Is how I see it. All right, here is our ship. Anchor to Navis orbit. Now what? What? I... O okay. That's fine. That... That's fine. There we go. I'm not going to bother cleaning this up right now. Back to Hagen orbit, quick as we can. Or I could even land this thing on Hagen. Uh, I don't remember what the time limit is. Before the corpse and everything in it... Why do I keep clicking that? Before the corpse and everything in it despawns. I think it's like 15 minutes or something? I don't know. Maybe 10 minutes? Yeah, I could just land the ship here. Although... It would cross-contaminate some... Robot networks. We can fix that. Just put it in construction mode. It said 11 minutes left. Uh, there it is. 11 minutes and 41 seconds. You can even see it counting down in real time. Or at least real game time. You don't have to keep mousing over this or refreshing or something. Uh, but yeah. Got a little bit careless there. Is this switched off? No. I'm a little bit concerned about Holmium. Uh, that's the second time I've noticed a shortage. Okay, Holmium itself, we've got plenty. So what's the problem? I bet it's... No? It's not hydrogen chloride. Is it blue balls? It's not blue balls. What's the problem? Chromium powder. Chromium ingot. Ingot. Chromium. Last hour. That's consumption. Production. Production's been... Pretty... S that's weird. Sup it's been pretty steady the last hour, but... Normally... 
It's probably been spikier because it's been saturated. Yeah, we're actually producing way more whole meme ingots lately uh, than we have been in the past. So, is it just that demand shut up? Uh, is our ratio off to support this? 435 holmium powder per second. And this is theoretically 600. I know we're a little bit belt bottlenecked or something, I th think. Yeah, I, I'm, we're a little bit belt bottlenecked, if I recall. Although it doesn't look like it. I'm not sure. No, we're definitely a bit bottlenecked by that. Hmm. Maybe I need to retool this a little bit. Okay, if 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 what we're actually getting here is one eighty per second times three is five forty per second. And this one's four thirty five per second. So what's the problem? Anyway, we've got more pressing matters. Uh, this is not where we were supposed to go. Oh, fine. I'll do it this way. Wait, no, I won't. Go to Hagen. Not Hagen Orbit. What's going on in the chat? Oh, you gave permit, but it didn't work? What? 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 That's weird. I need to solve this. Uh, here we go. I was afraid of something like this. What is it doing? What is it? Oh my god. That is some range. Oh no. <laughs> what the f- Yeah, that is a little bit more range than I was anticipating from the bots. Oh, we'll deal with that in a minute. Give me my stuff back first. Please don't get hit by a train again. Okay. Okay. Alright. Why am I... There we go. I lost my filters. Whatever. It's fine. Now what what are you picking up over here? Oh no. What is What What are we I think this may have been a mistake. I I I think I probably shouldn't have, shouldn't have landed this here. I think we might have made a little bit of a mess. Yeah, it seems like even though I put it in construction mode, it linked some of the uh, logistic networks. Oh boy. Dear Lord, that Robo Pancake. <laughs> Yeah, it does have some range. Robo pancake. Delicious. Uh, how fast is this? You mean this thing, right? Try new robo pancakes. Okay. Um... I don't think this block has a get rid of stuff that doesn't belong here. But it looks like it didn't pick up much stuff. 
this one on the other hand did. Well, that'll get sorted out eventually, I suppose. And we know this one has a get rid of everything that's not supposed to be here, but... One sec, I need to hydrate. need to take it a little bit easier with my voice. 500 by 500? Uh, yeah, if you put it in construction mode. Uh, so if we put it back to normal mode, it's still 400 by 400. Pretty big. Just, uh, you know... I mean, this square right here, that's the limit of the range from this one in normal mode. Still insane? Yeah, it really is. I like it. And I like having uh, a RoboPort that houses robots that's actually got a decent recharge speed as opposed to slow as. All right, uh, shall we get back to the task at hand? We were supposed to be going to Sage. Remember that? Pepperidge Farms remembers. Let's go up the elevator. Wait, that doesn't. There we go. I should really make a network of teleporters and not just have two of them as a novelty. What happened with this floor? Uh, what is that? Refined concrete? I need to swap something out here. Just because there's only four filters that we can fit on a filter inserter. Alright. Into the ship again. And I don't think we've got any, like, unfiltered storage chests on this ship or anything, so it shouldn't have any weird stuff in it. Let's go to Sage Orbit. Squirrel is strong today, indeed. RV Punk, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Wee Puff, welcome in. Did you lose bots on the ship? Uh, yeah, but it automatically regulates it. Um, we request both types of bots here, and... What is this? Whitelist construction bot. If C is less than 900. So I guess these robot networks here are, uh, I mean, oh, they might have too many construction bots to fit in the, in the networks, in the houses. Uh, I think we're good. Probably. Probably, maybe, probably totally fine. One minute to Sage Orbit. What? I th think I just tried to look at that ship. R Wait, what? Why is it way over here? That was weird. Rip. 
How many core frags are left here? 42k. It's only, uh, it's not even two shiploads. Thirty seconds or so. Alright. So we mostly drained that out. Do we have the cons uh, the decon train ready? Yes, we do. Let's just go park over here, wait for inactive. I'm not even going to bother. Oh, I didn't actually mark this for decon yet. Let's do that. But we'll leave the stuff in the train... Uh, in the train stops waiting to be picked up. Should be arriving right about now. Fantastic. Let's park way down here so we don't contaminate the robot network. And what do I need? Lots of landfill. Way too much landfill, in fact. Can't remember. I think we may have left a little landfill factory. No, that's right. We actually, there was a bit of stone here and we actually ate all of it. Uh, to turn it into landfill, is what I remember. What are all the things we can turn into landfill? Uh, erudite, so holmanite, presumably. Yeah. Two and a half stacks of holmanite makes one landfill. Uh, we could do that. Let's take some drills. And I might actually prod them. That does not go there. Um, scaffolding. Why, why am I still carrying all this scaffolding? Get out of here. And give me some rail. What the heck is this? Do we have some Logibots here? We do now. There's nowhere that this goes. I need a storage chest. Wait. Oh. Where did the destroyed bot go? I'm... Oh, it's right here. Uh, yeah, okay, that's what I was expecting. Um, I guess shove this stuff in for now. Don't need any of this. All right. And gonna need some of these. How many train stops am I thinking to make? Uh, at least six, right? 24 bulk rail loaders. Alright, well that should keep us going for a minute. Say hello to the angry koala. And what's that? Three sixty-seven thousand holmanite. Oh no, it's copper. Well, either way, uh, it would help if I brought an assembly machine. Tell me we've got those upstairs. We have space assembly machines. Can I put those here? I think we can.
cannot build on the ground. Uh, I guess I could put spaceship floor down to make it happen. Oh, wait. No, I do have... Okay, thank goodness. Okay. Uh, Alright, so we want some drills. Hekren, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, why don't we just put, like... We've got plenty of these, so why don't we be a little bit lazy? We're making copper into landfill. Oh, don't tell me. We need, like, a recycling machine? Yeah, we do. I do have those. I have, like, three. Um, but we're not going to be able to continue that pattern. How about this? I should have carried more stuff. Can I put space belt here? I can put space belt on the ground, but I can't put uh, a space assembly machine on the ground. Lamel. Anyway, this will be fine for now. Copper into landfill, please. Is that a burner inserter? Why do I have eight burner inserters? I don't understand anything anymore. Prod, prod, prod. Beacon. Why do I have a white beacon one? Whatever. It's enough. How much power do we have? Six gigawatt. I th well, no, that's what can come down the space elevator. Uh, five sixty times six point four. Three point five gigawatt. I think we'll be fine. Yeah, I, I I don't think we have to worry too much about our power consumption. Okay. That's still pretty slow. How fast is that? Uh, more than 45 per second in any case. So it's belt bottlenecked. That is slower than I would like. Why don't I just put this here? Why don't I just go upstairs and grab some of the stuff that we've got in the ship? waiting for us. Because I thought I could slap this together and make it decent. We're one off? Really? Wait, 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 we've got some blue belt here. There we go. Alright, that's a little bit better. Uh, and I can make landfill from this stone. Alright, so we'll leave that running for a bit. Uh, we want landfill down this way. And keep going. And how we're going to lay this out is probably going to be front right. Oh, that's cozy. Yeah, that's good. Uh, please tell me we can fit this here. Nice little corner. Oh, beautiful. Wunderbar. Subarashi. 
Uh, I almost said civil play. That's not correct. But that'll do. What do we want? Landfill? When do we want it? Now? Indeed, indeed. Uh, I need some landfilled green wired. Is that green wired? No. Landfilled green wired power poles. To go down this way. And I guess this will have to come over here. Which is fine. Put it like there. So how much landfill is that? Probably way too much. Uh, about 1.3k. We've got more than 2k for the moment. Fantastic. Let's get to it. I need some blue belt. Uh, and I think I'd rather go grab it now rather than have to come back for it. I hope auto landfill under blueprints will be in future triple F. Yeah, that's way overdue. All right, blue belt is over this way, I think. Yeah, here we go. Although I don't need to carry quite that much. I'm sure th three stacks of those will be fine. Uh, pylons. Lighted pylon. Lighted pylon substation. And give us some more rail while we're at it. Alright, that should keep us going for a minute. How about a hamburger? Uh, yes please. Alright, so it was down this way. And I guess we'll just do the landfill first. I'm not going to worry about filling out everything else as we go. Bots are being a bit silly. I guess if I do it this way, we can't get ahead of them. What? Um... I, I stand corrected? <laughs> I did... What? I didn't know that was possible. What? What just... What? So, I died by... Landfilling myself? I... Am I... Accelerating? I don't think this is working. I thought I would have a little bit of... Oh, oh no. <laughs> How? I don't know. Death number three incoming? Yeah, I... I would tend to agree. I... I, I can't actually change direction at all, it seems like. I thought... Because I've, I've done this before, and there's like a, a, a very small minimum amount of acceleration that you have, but I, I guess that assumes you have a thruster suit, but I'm sure I've done it with power armor as well. Use the ship to catch you? <laughs> That's actually not a bad idea. Launch. Anchor. Am I not moving now? I hope I can at least... Okay, I do have a little bit of acceleration, so why wasn't I, like, moving at all? <sighs> okay. 
Okay. Um. You know what? Why don't we just land on Sage? That that might be a better idea. That might be the way to go. You can actually land, like, on the water, and it'll just sort of landfill it. But we're not going to do that. Am I going to be able to get to my corpse? Yeah, I think so. I'm surprised... I'm pleasantly surprised that the corpse is there. After I somehow deleted myself by... running into water? Landfilling myself? I, I have no idea. Realistically. Space Jam, but the jumps are deadly. <laughs> So kind of like, uh, what was that map called at Quake 3? The space map with the jump pads. Okay. Alright. We got there eventually. Did this landfill? No. Do I have bots? Yes. Will I run ahead of them as they landfill? Not if I can help it. Not again. How the hell do you... How the hell do you kill yourself by, like, landfilling yourself? I don't get it. Because I can just stand on the water like this. If I use the jetpack. It's, it's not like water kills you. I think it was the landfill. It can kill you when placed right on top of you. Happened to me too. Okay. I know you can kill Spidertrons by removing a floor from underneath one of their feet. But that's not the same thing. Alright. Uh, so we're going for front right. Red wire to here, green wire is global. Uh, and I'm realizing all over again that we do in fact need this to connect somehow. Uh, so how about we just do this? And we were going to continue to the south, yeah. Hence this blueprint. And up here. Some of that will probably get done by the construction ship. Uh, and we need our poles. With the green wire. That'll do. Ah, that looks so dumb. Whatever. Uh, so we need to fill out all of that. Preferably without dying this time. Wasn't it Waterfill that kills you? It used to. They updated it. I've never actually used Waterfill. Okay, that scared the crap out of me. Jesus. I know there should be no way that a train would be coming down here by now, but... 
Uh, I've had enough of sudden deaths today. Alright, so we're connected to global. And this is only connected to local. And I didn't actually bring uh, the core mining drill. Bassinho, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, where is the drill? One sec. There's a strange sound, and I think it's my ceiling fan. Okay, uh, core drills. They're probably with the other drills. Yeah, there we go. This is actually super convenient, bringing the ship down here. I should do it more often. Okay. Now for the condition that can summon a train down here. Core fragments. One, two, three, and four. Wunderbar. All right. We'll continue down this way. Where? Uh, maybe not that far. And we'll go probably front left for these ones. That's a relatively cozy fit. And this one, one off. Not cozy. Zero out of ten. I guess I could put it here. It's not too bad. Alright, so this goes back this way. And continues. Um... Rail. Rail. Well, first of all, we need landfill. And rail. There it is. to do this one as well. Alright, so this one is going to need a little bit of help. Just like that. And time to find out that we need more landfill. Did I not? Okay. I'm honestly scared to run at the edge of it now. Let's just use the jetpack. How much solid fuel do I have? Only six. Is it worth having that many core drills with the diminishing returns? I always just place two. Uh, two is... Not a lot. 
You only need four to double the first drill. Nine to triple the first drill. Sixteen to quadruple the first drill. Twenty-five to get five times the first drill. So somewhere in the twenties, I would say. Well, it, it depends. Uh, is where I would consider stopping. And we're already out of landfill. How much is over here? Almost a thousand. Uh, how much do we need? Way more than a thousand. 1.6k. We don't have any left in the ship, do we? No. Uh, it's a pain to transport it over from Hagen as well, though. How fast is this making landfill? I think all the landfill we're making right now is happening right here. 103 per minute, that sounds about right. Mining prod plays a big role? Yeah, it really does. At the moment, each drill here is giving us 10.287. Uh, even though we've got... Uh, 10? Yeah, 10 core mining drills on the planet. So we're getting over 100 per second. It does vary uh, depending on the planet size and what type of core fragment you're picking up. Like, iridite core fragments are going to be a lot slower. Should I make another little mine? Or I should just expand this one. That's probably as easy as anything else. Where's our ship? Uh, what am I doing? We got drills. I could maybe grab a few more drills. Uh, probably don't need that much. Uh, but I needed... I, I was short on, like, blue belt earlier. Uh, I have two more recycling facilities. That's probably way more than enough. Yeah. Let's just expand our little local landfill build over here. God, if this were anything but a video game. Mining copper to just smash it into landfill. <laughs> Utterly ridiculously wasteful. Let's just use blue belt. That'll do. Uh, can we maybe move this over here? Do I not have a... What? Oh, it was backward. It, it kind of looked like it was a ghost because of the different color here. And one more. Is that going to be under the beacon? No. It's fine. Still bottlenecking on the belts. Wait. Oh, that's not beaconed yet. That's why. Does that cover? Yeah, it does. Alright, so that should saturate pretty much instantly, and... 
We're still not bottlenecking on the machine. Okay. How far does Blue Belt reach? This far. This has got to be it, right? I haven't even put any speed modules in this. Nope, one more. Uh, sure. What? And we are still not bottlenecking on the recycling machine. Well, how much uh, landfill are we getting, though? More than one per second real time? Uh, 6.25 per second. Seems good. So we needed 1,300 or so, right? For the moment. That's almost 1,500. Gimme, gimme. Fantastic. Okay, the initial acceleration sucks, but flight would be better here. Kinda thought we were finished with outposting. Didn't think we'd need to do any more of it. It's already signaled. Uh, we're gonna need some some power poles. Did we already landfill these at least? I think so. Yeah. Good, good, good. Wait, I forgot to pick up solid rocket fuel. We're down to four. Just don't run out over the water. That would be bad. No, I don't want to run at the edge of this again. Uh, just give me some more damn solid rocket fuel. Or I could ride a spider. I didn't bring it though. How long does it take for science to start up again? Solid rocket fuel. Here we go. That's quite a lot. I didn't actually check that the trains can pass to our latest edition. They can. That's better. Uh, I forgot to do the power poles. This will line up pretty well, I think. Turn off the RoboPod first. Let's see how this goes.
Oh, that's going to be quite good. Actually, build this first. Or at least show me the ghost. And I'm pretty sure. We'll be able to just connect this like so. Fantastic. Right, rail go burr. Uh, pylons go burr. Actually, probably still easier if I use the blueprint, because it's got the green wires. Not that one, though. Can't connect to a ghost. I'm trying space exploration solo without other mods, and it's blowing my mind how complex it is, indeed. I don't want to know what Crestorio 2 does on top of that. I'd say it adds like 10 or 20% on top of it. It's not that bad. I've finished K2 before. Okay. Yeah, it's not too, too scary. Did I accidentally add that landfill over there? I did. It looks a little naff. Oh well. Connected to global. Local only. Fantastic. Uh, and confirm that train has passed. Which it does. Cool. On to the next one. I know there are a few speed bumps, but I kind of forgot how long this outposting takes. Wait. Do we want to do it that way? Probably. Oh yeah, that, that might even connect directly. It's when you add more to the chat, chat jumping. It's when you add more to the SEK2 that it starts getting a little bit complicated, like BZ. Berserk. I'm working on making crucibles for the electric furnaces. Oh god, I feel like I almost killed myself there. I I don't trust landfill anymore, no. Or at least landfill that's about to be placed. Let's just float. I found single rail outposting causes problems unless using a one train for the whole planet. Uh, it might be signaling errors. I need more landfill. Um, but more to the point, assuming it's as, assuming you don't have signaling errors or anything like that, the reason that this works is because we're doing it with core fragments. Uh, and the reason that's relevant is the diminishing returns. Every core drill that we add makes every core drill on the planet individually slower. Uh, so the more drills we have, the less each individual station needs to be visited. So it makes it very, very easy for the trains not to have traffic issues. That's why we're able to get away with this, and that's why we don't do this at, for example, our main base. 
It's fine out in the sticks, let's put it that way. All right. We've already re replaced all of the landfill that we picked up last time. So that was absolutely worth the effort. Uh, but yeah, I don't think we have a single outpost that does like 120 core fragments per second. Uh, so we're looking at like five stacks per second. Uh, let, let me double check. We're up to 12 drills now, times 9.3, 9.4, uh, we're looking at like 5.6 stacks per second for the entire planet so far. And we're probably never going to get to anything like, I don't know, 10 stacks per second across all of these, like every single uh, train stop that we're going to put here. All right, let me just copy the rail across. And... Power poles. Maybe run a little less fast so the bots are more consistent. Oh, I need cliffies. But other than that, we're done here pretty much. Please tell me that's going to reach. I have my doubts, but it's possible. Nope. Not quite. How about we put this here? Connected to global. Fantastic. And we're drilling. Wunderbar. Alright, so we just need a cliff explosion. Or I could, like, have just one single random squiggly bit of rail go around it. But that would feel wrong. So what are we up to now? 13 drills? Wait, what? I thought we already had 12. Oh, was that physically placed already? Okay. I'm resisting the temptation to move the ship around on planet. Uh, what was I coming here for again? Cliff explosives. What things are over here? That's probably a few more cliff explosives than we need. I saw earlier you also put city blocks in your main base. Do you place those blocks over ores? If they're in the way, uh, pretty much no. Um, I do try to mine them out. I don't like to waste, even if we, we really, really, really don't need iron at this point. So I've actually got like, oh, uh, I've actually been like removing the encoded network IDs so that these can go to places where they get consumed. Uh like scrapped, kind of like the excess iron that comes out of ore fragment processing. 
Um, but yeah, I think that mine in particular was still set that way because we were still trying to get rid of one that was like over here somewhere, for example. Um, but some of the stuff is just too thick. Like, uh, we've got 28 million cryonite here that we're never going to use. I, I, In hindsight, I should have uh, landed a spaceship on top of this. It actually gets rid of all of it, as you can see. Um, <laughs> but yeah. Depends on the resource. And depends on where we're at at that point in the playthrough. Hell, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, I kind of forgot... Where, where the heck is the... Why are they purple in this icon and black over here? Superior exoskeletons. Alright, where, where are my cliff explosives? Oh, they're down here. Confusion. Isn't it harder SE with K2? Uh, you could say that. Can't play with city blocks? My OCD doesn't allow it. Uh, my OCD won't allow my... Won't allow not doing city blocks. Checkmate. Is this... Oh, I see. The ridiculously viscous fluid is empty on this end. Bruh, look at this. 19,000 at this end, zero at this end. Fluid noises. Okay. Anyway, uh, let's confirm that the train could pass down here. Fantastic. And we're at 12 drills. This is the obvious next step. Or... I mean, maybe. We're looking for the most drills with the least explored area that we can trim it back to. But I have to say this one is tempting, as it's just a straight line to come down here. Um, how many seams have we found? Tag. Oh, there's two ways you can do this, except for some reason, or at least in this version, uh, if you search for core frag, was it barrel? For some reason it doesn't find barrel this way, uh, if I recall correctly, but you can always search for tag core seam. Uh, but yeah, how many do we have? 29. If I don't take this drill in particular, then the trim is going to be all the way back to, like, here. Somewhere in the 20s is where we want to stop. If that. <sighs> These are such a pain to get to, though. Okay, fine. Let's go get this one. I guess... Front right. Uh, how about here? My ADHE doesn't allow consistent city block. What? Competitive Tetris in Factorio. Okay. Uh, so rail fits there, right? It has to, otherwise the blueprint wouldn't have snapped. And then... Like this. I'll probably just landfill this so that we can make that work. Nice and neat. And 
signaling won't be much of an issue. Power poles. They're not going to line up so well. How about a diagonal? Uh, kind of sketchy either way. Yeah, I guess we'll just... Put something here-ish? That should reach, I imagine. Or I could just, you know, put this here. And not worry about the 45 degree. Is that going to cover everything? Uh, yes. Fine, that'll do. How much rail do I need right now? Uh, we've got plenty. Alright, I think I'm carrying everything I need. I kind of want to check in on science, though. I feel like it should have started moving again by now. It's probably... Tesseract's being slow, isn't it? Yep. I'm pretty sure there's been a train load of deep space. Yeah, no, it came over here, didn't it? We're just still creeping towards that train load of Singularity tech cards. Uh, a, not quite an hour. If, if we reach our goal of three per second for everything, uh, it's like 55 minutes for each train load of science packs. Uh, yeah, we really need to overhaul and speed this up. That reminds me, I completely forgot. Um, didn't we send our... What did I even call that ship? Didn't we send our Arco... Arcostrosity? What are you doing here? Huh? Did, did I send a different ship to Dark Flare, or did we just never take off? What? I... Hmm. I'm not sure. I think it probably just never took off? Did I really not send it? Okay. Uh, oh, let me guess. No? It didn't have a... It's got this in the memory cell. It probably flew to Dark Flare and then immediately turned around and came home. Okay. Um, Dark Flare is probably, probably significantly further than 20k away. Dark Flare, distance, 42,000, okay, yeah, you'd better believe it. What's the, uh, automation signal? Asteroid Field 1121. Asteroid field, double one, two, one, program that onto the memory cell, and our direct destination is Foenestra. Once it gets there, it'll head towards Dark Flare, and that'll be about half as, half as far to get to as if we went there directly. 
AT hacks, how do you balance Nacrotite powder slash refined? Are you changing recipes based on circuit logic? Uh, nope. We are doing this. Uh, so we've got the the powder and the crushed right next to each other. Uh, we toss them both into kind of a buffer container, although it's empty at the moment. Uh, I think this is the only block where we make the Aquium ingots. They're not full. Scandalous. But I guess we had a train not too long ago. We've actually been able to take Naquium for granted for a while. I guess that's stopping for, for the moment. Regardless, uh, back to how this works. So basically, we toss both of these outputs into the same uh, buffer container. Uh, and I think I ended up changing it so that... Yeah, originally I had... Each of them would say, if refined naquitite is less than 400, then the refined naquitite output is not blocked. Uh, and if refined, uh, if naquim powder is less than 400, then, uh, then don't block the naquim powder output. But I end up, I ended up disabling this for the naquim powder output or refined naquitite for some reason. Uh, it was a little bit counterintuitive. But that's the basics of it, is make sure you have room for it. Uh, and limit, limit the outputs based on whichever one is getting too full. Uh, and the machines... You know, obviously each recipe spits out more or less of one or the other. Squirrels, indeed. They send the beads straight into each other? Uh, yeah, they do. Although they still... like, So the inserters are slower than... Uh, uh, than the loaders. If, if this is getting saturated uh, and there's like a contest, you know, if there's a race between the inserters and the belts here with the loaders uh, to input, the loaders will always win. So th they're effectively prioritized. Asteroid just went through my ship. <laughs> Rip. Uh, what time is it? Oh, it's time to finish. Okay, cool, cool, cool. We do need to keep outposting here. I don't really feel like doing it right now anyway, so... Good timing. Uh, I'm a little worried about... Well, not worried, but... I guess I'm going to have to find the Naquium bottleneck as well. Not that we didn't expect bottlenecks to shift and shift and shift as we speed things up. Let's find someone to raid. Um, Hofnix, Anti, Diablo. Did Anti just start or something? Uh, pretty much, yes. Why don't we say hello? Missing in action, thank you for the follow. Alright, thank you all for watching. Do take care, and I'll see you next time. Check out the Discord of Blueprints if you're into that, if you have any questions or anything, by all means. And until next time, stay safe. Uh, that's it for Factorio for a little while. Tomorrow we'll be chilling with some, uh, most likely Slate Spire modded, doing A20 with the Packmaster. All kinds of silly builds. Very fun. Uh, but till then, take care. See you next time, Veldak, Missing in Action. Thanks for dropping by. Lord Seru, Ian Noah. 
Dexoxo. Didn't see that, sorry. Or I, I did, I just didn't see the name. Welcome in. Everyone else, including all you lovely lurkers. Have a good one.